Howdy, folks. I'm back. <laughs> Maybe not all back. Maybe I left something behind in Texas. I don't know, but I'm back. It's Tina, a.k.a. Timo here. And back with two weeks of information that is so very long, it would take all night to describe it all. And you would believe me anyway, because it's and one of them things. back with two weeks of Whoops. information Somebody's that is talking so to me. very long, <laughs> it me. would take all night. There we go. All right. I am very discombobulated this evening, and we're just going to have to see how we do, folks. But I welcome you here, one and all, and I see a whole handful of folks already in here. And thank you, thank you for being here. I see Miss Sandy Chin from Tennessee, and there's Miss Muttnut. Um, oh, she's got back pain, been in bed all day, but she did win the grand prize for the retro cult classic event with Stacy and Christopher. So congratulations there, Michelle. Greeting Shannon. Um, no worries. You just work and lurk right away. Uh, right along with us, right? And everyone's in here and Wanda and Deb and Shannon. You're all here for the... <laughs> that was quick, Sandy. <laughs> I didn't look at your time stamps. That was quick. <laughs> Howdy, William and Amy and Rich and everybody. Now, I need to know something because I could sit here for the next 15 or 20 minutes and saying hi to everybody. And I've missed you all. And I and I appreciate you being here. I see Karen and Robin and Billy and Karina. <laughs> y'all are all here and I appreciate it. But I need to know if y'all like doing that. Sometimes I watch folks doing the uh, their lives and they say hi to everybody. And um, there's Miss Mary. Howdy, Mary. Got cut off earlier. I miss Cheryl Katz. Thank you, Mods, for being here. Got my eye on what I want. Just have to wait till the end of the month. Don't worry. They'll be here. I'm sure they will. Uh, Ellen's loving her jiggers. Yay. So I have a question. Need to know. Need to know another question. How, who likes all the greetings? Who likes some of the greetings? Cheryl says people like to be acknowledged. Um, Kayleen. Right. Okay. Kayleen is very romper room. Right. So does that mean you like it or don't like it? Let me know. Howdy, April. Okay. You let's see. I do not know what chi how to read Chinese folks. So y'all got to tell me what that means. All righty. So what do y'all like? Everybody need their name shouted out. Shout it out. Just got to watch. How I see those things. <laughs> so tell me what you think howdy miss judy you changed your name a few at the beginning says mary i like it but sometimes it just takes a long time All right amber sherry likes the greeting oh kaden how are you doing it's been a minute sorry when i look over here uh thank you jamie i'm so glad you got everything miss barbara whatever works for you says ellen shannon says yes kaden yes he does i haven't seen you kaden in a while Hi to the first several. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Kay. We missed y'all too. We did. Keep trying to greet everyone. You could be here for a while. Right, Brandy? That was my point too. And y'all, I haven't got this camera down yet because like I don't want to try to fix my hair, but it's opposite and whatever. It's it is what it is. That's what it's gonna be tonight. Because I'm lucky to be here. First couple minutes says Laura. Um Oh, Kate has been working after he graduated. Way to go. Hi there, Lana. Um, with as many people have signed, it gets, I know, right, Deb? It does get long. So I'll say hi to a few first folks, right? Ashlyn, my name is Ashlyn. Well, how about that? That's a different way to say that. Ashlyn Bridges here for the first time. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, there's Miss, is it Elisa or Elisa? Elisa, Elisa? we've been through this, I know, haven't we? And look, uh, Elisa, that's what I thought it was. She has her own channel too. Go check her out. Two more weeks and we have new people joined in the Ticket to Ride. How about that? Several at the beginning, but they came in really late. It breaks your thought. You're right. It does it too. Or Livia, she says acknowledge. Um, so it's really high. Is Miss Cheryl, Cheryl G in the, there she is. There's Miss Cheryl G. Did you finish va beach vacation? I did not finish beach vacation. If I could have worked every day, one of those days. So let's review since we're here and we're all together let's review oh, thank you brandy i appreciate it you were lucky to get a pasta pin today 
Oh, I guess not. I don't know. Cause that's one of my problems. I, uh, my phone broke. My phone broke while I was gone on Friday. So you can only see half of a screen on there. And we spent all day Friday trying to find a new phone in Texas. And we could not find a new phone in Texas. Stop it. There we go. Thank you. And it was here when we came back. We got back at five in the morning yesterday. Jerry drove through the night. It's 11 hour drive. Pashi will be posting her, her special very soon, says Cheryl. Yay! Um, is da oh, Danielle was here. I did miss you. So, bonsoir, Danielle. And Danielle is an admin over in Pashi Pins. And we're going to do a shout out to Pashi later tonight because not only is she also a sponsor in the Ticket to Ride that I was as well, but I got something from her finally. Uh, everything's bigger in Texas. You need an iPhone 15 Pro Max. It's amazing. Well, it was a sad day on Friday, and I have not been able to keep in touch with things. I have no idea if I won. Danielle would know. Uh, yeah, we, we've had a lot of family issues going on. And uh, Danielle, I'm guessing I did not win anything today because she had, there was like six or something new minis, and I put my name on a couple of those. And I am, I do, I am liking the minis. There's Stephanie and Melinda. So... Okay, let's go back. If y'all remember my son's car, let's go back to where we were when we left, right? So my son took uh, the kid car out to go job hunting the two weeks ago, right? It was two weeks ago today because he ended up, hair don't look right up there. <laughs> he ended up going off the road, hitting a mailbox and being stuck in the guy's yard in the snowstorm. So we had to go get him and the car stayed in until yesterday. Um, no, but Jeanette did win. Oh, Jeanette, look at that. She won, huh? Everybody, Marsha's saying, hey, howdy, Marsha. So, so that stayed there until yesterday. However, be, right before we left, my husband, Jerry, did go out and buy a new mailbox and a new post for the guy. And he said it was okay to leave the car in the yard uh, because it was all wet and uh, it already had bad ruts, which it still does. Um, so we left that there. Well, that Monday before we left, just so happens that the hot Jerry was getting a haircut downstairs. Jonathan was giving him a haircut. Hey, Tia, how are you doing, honey? I've missed you. I missed you at the retreat too. Um, and I walked down there to grab something because I was still packing up. And I said, why is there water here on the ground by the air conditioner? And I showed my son because he's an air guy. And um, so Jerry checked it out. And sure enough, the hot water heater was going bad. So he goes, okay, we got some good news and bad news. It hasn't exploded yet. But if we leave it on, it may still work for a week and a half. Or it may not. And it might explode everywhere. Okay, what are the options? Well, we could turn it off, but it's frozen shut. It would, it, the, and, and not frozen like cold, but like it, it couldn't be turned off. And we could break it, and then there'd be water everywhere anyway. Oh, okay. Danielle said, if you join Pashi's group, don't forget to answer the four questions. Yep, that's right. So, um, things have not calmed down to you. And now for Cheryl, maybe she, or she might be winding up, maybe not calming down either yet. <laughs> Cheryl K. But uh, anyway, let's see. Um, so the hot water heater, they actually did get the valve turned off. We have two hot water heaters, thank goodness. The half of the house happened to be the boys' half. So the, the upstairs guest bedroom and the boys' bathroom had no hot water for the last week and a half. So we left them that way and we left it and there no hot water in the kitchen. Hi, Eileen. So, and Jeannie's here. So there was no hot water in the kitchen. They had to boil water while we were gone. And the boys had no hot water. So they kept taking showers in my bathroom. Okay, we'll make it through. We we'll have to order a hot water heater. We looked for one before we left. We couldn't find one right away. There was one near us. They would get it close to us. So we'd avoid a shipping fee, blah, blah, blah. So we were going to order one before we got back. Great. But that's $1,500. We were going to wait a little bit on that. Um, 
So the hot water heater went out. We were washing dishes by trying to take water from the laundry room and then pouring it into the kitchen sink. Well, one of my sons went down under the house and said, there's water coming through the ceiling, mom, onto the electrical box. So we're like, what? How can something else go wrong? We run downstairs and uh, the laundry room sink that they had been using to tote water back and forth, the pipe underneath had knocked loose and had gone down the floor through the ceiling into the basement. So they did get that cleaned up. Uh, everything was okay in the electrical box. We got all that cleaned up. Hey, Shopwell. And we just left them with hot water. We left the car in the yard. We left the kids, excuse me, without hot water the, on the boy's side. Two showers had hot water. But the, anyway, so we left like that. And we get there. And by this time, we're not wanting any calls from home because every call from home could be one more thing going wrong, right? So we do get there and things seem to settle down. And by the way, when we left, Serenity had, um, there was nearly 300 orders the last time I saw y'all. So the last time I saw you, there was nearly over 300 orders that weekend, two weeks ago. And guess what? We had friends come over, friends and family come over that weekend. And then the kids really kicked into gear and Serenity was staying up all night long to get them done. And in a week's time, she got them all filled, folks. We aren't behind on orders anymore. Hey, do you, howdy, Rebecca and Tammy. How are y'all doing? And Miss Sue's in the house. So oh, I got a shout out from Sue because boy, was she generous this time. Y'all have to see what Sue gifted me. It was wonderful. And I hope you're doing okay, Sue. That's right. Ren rocks, doesn't she, Kayleen? I know. So again, she had it. It was a team effort. She could not. I need a bubble. right? Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> um, she couldn't have done it without everybody working together, but she made it happen, right? So she got the orders out. We're at the retreat. Oh, I didn't tell you. I mean, there's so many things. And I didn't have my phone to write down all the things. That first night, we had to stop at the hotel on the way down. Because it's an 11 hour drive, we spend the night and then it's an hour and a half to the retreat. And there was no hot water at the hotel. Unbelievable, right? And I'm trying to get ready for bed. We're, we're, I was exhausted. I only got four hours of sleep the night before because I was still trying to get the drills off the table, et cetera. So I, had, I, had, I didn't even diamond paint on the way down because I was that tired. I had a lot of business stuff to do and I was working on organizing business stuff the whole way down. So I worked on that the whole way down, not diamond painted, got in exhausted, had a headache. We did meet with um, a group of people. Let's see. I posted that last week. Sorry, my phone. I can't get in like normal. Um, the picture that I posted <clears throat> last week with us at the restaurant. So we got to meet with, um, Randy and Shay and Berta and Cheryl and some new friends. There's a, let's see, there you go. See all those folks? That was fun. And so we got there just in time. We drove up from the 11 hour drive to the restaurant and we ate, you know, I had a headache or whatnot. It was great to visit. Yay, Karina. I'm glad you got the drills. Um, we, I slept very, I slept well that night, but Again, there wasn't hot water and he called the front desk. They said, well, either send someone up there or we can move your room. Now you got to remember, <laughs> I'm trying to get ready for bed, folks, and get in the shower. I was not dressed as I was getting in the shower, but it was freezing cold. And I'm like, no, I don't want to move and I don't want to be in this room. I just want to go to bed. Um, anyway, he's like, you got to make a decision. They're coming. How do you do, <laughs> Judy? But yes, after 20 at least 20 minutes, it got warm enough to get a shower. And I'm like, Jerry, it's getting warm enough. I'm getting a shower. Tell him not to come. I got a quick shower. He, I said, I, t I warned him. It's not hot. Just get in the shower. We did it. I was asleep like that. I was asleep before Jerry came to get out of the shower. I mean, I was so tired. But we got there that, oh, okay. And Cheryl says, we don't have to leave until 11. Now she, you know, she's our uh, navigator, right? We're like, how, when do we leave? Hey, Karen, when do we leave? Um, all that kind of stuff. So she's like, we got to leave by 11. It's only half hour away, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? 
So she misheard Marissa because Marissa did show up there too. Amanda was there as well, but it was an hour and a half away. <laughs> but when I went to bed, I turned my phone off. So I did not see that message until like 9.45 that, oh, you need to be ready at 10 o'clock and we need to leave. <laughs> she said, and I'm like, what? So I tried calling. I'm like, I just woke up. I'll get Jerry up and we will try our best. So we were out of there probably by 10.30, but then um, they decided they needed to stop by Walmart. So we went shopping with Cheryl and Berta and us at Walmart. I was in and out of there. I was waiting at the front door. I thought, oh, they're going to be mad at me. I took so long. No, I was the only one done. And we waited and we waited. We couldn't find Berta. We had to send the cavalry out for Berta. I almost had Walmart paging Berta over the phone. We just couldn't find her anywhere. And Jerry went to the car. Cheryl went to the car. I finally found Berta. And she had found, oh, I didn't bring them. They're in the um, in there on the room. But she found a whole display of diamond dots at Walmart. <laughs> so I I started out the retreat with, you know, I don't know, a half a dozen of diamond paintings uh, from Walmart there. And uh, lies, all lies. Berta says, they're all lies. <laughs> and she goes, look, I haven't found you an axolotl. I said, that's a crab, Berta. And so anyway. So we put the crab back. It wasn't axolotl. Hi, Tina. And uh, we got there and we were calling anybody we could think of. Can you save us four seats together? Can you save us four seats together? We got it opened at noon. We got there at 1.30, but thank goodness they had. <laughs> Sherry said her Walmart finally got the diamond dots. I hadn't even heard about them. Berta just happened to see them. So we end up get there. We were seated. You know, we finally got settled and all that. And so that was Thursday. <clears throat> we signed up for our massages and everything. Because when you're down there, you can get a massage. Berta says, Sherry, sure, you're supposed to have my back. We already discussed this. <laughs> so anyway, we got there and we're all set up. And um, and I was still I was still pretty tired. I probably went to bed. I can't remember exactly two-ish or something. I didn't stay up all night that first night. Um, but not good ones. Well, I saw some uh, butterfly and heart, I think. Berta is a magnet and diamond paintings are metal. <laughs> well, uh, but we got some diamond paintings started and got set up in the room, that kind of stuff. So that was Thursday. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know how late we stayed up, but Friday morning I get up and... Um, is that Thursday? Was it really Thursday? Or did we start Wednesday? I'm all messed up. I, I can't believe it. I think it started Thursday because um, that I sat down to diamond paint and got a message from my daughter that my son-in-law was in the ER with chest pains. Hey, Marsha. Yeah, it was Thursday. So he was in the ER with chest pains that Thursday night. Yes, that was that Thursday night. Like I said, we're afraid for any of the phones to ring because we never know what's going to happen next these days. And so he, yes, it did start Thursday. So um, he was in the ER. He eventually got out of the ER and they gave, they told him to follow up. I have not even talked to her yet. To, I know that they couldn't find anything. So that was good. And he got out of the ER. That was Thursday night, Friday morning. I get up, take my phone to the bathroom so I can listen to my story. And I drop that sucker on the um, marble countertop and I break my phone Friday morning. Um, and again, we spent that whole day trying to look. Berta says, by the way, I thought my axolotls were pretty. It's just that it had a lot of legs is all. <laughs> they were cute, but I had been trying. That's the key word, not to get the big ones because I'm out of space. Um, and since it wasn't an axolotl, I did it. We need to bubble wrap you or everyone around me, right? Uh, no, Sue, I have not. I'll have to tell you about that. Oh, yeah, that was the other thing I did on the way down. Thank you, Sue, for reminding me. So on the way down, I had to search for tickets so to Hawaii. So we did. Yes, I had a phone case, Sherry. There was a phone case on it. Um, but it just hit that edge at just the right way. So we booked two tickets down to Hawaii. Um, uh, there and back. So two round trip tickets. We're going to stay two weeks from the 13th to the 27th. And um, that was about $1,700. So we booked those on the way down. That was out of the way. 
I had a case, Cheryl. <laughs> yep, I had a case, everybody. I do not have a place to stay yet, Tammy. I talked with my son. Um, how did I talk with him? Well, it had to be that Thursday night because my phone hadn't died yet. So it had to be that Thursday night that I talked to him. And he said his chief told him that the Fisher house, that he couldn't stay in the Fisher house. I said, son, it's not for you. It's for us. And only your clinic worker can call the Fisher house in Hawaii to set it up because they're always booked. His surgery is the 19th, Brandy, March 19th. And we're going to go. He has to be there by the 14th. Oh, y'all won't believe this. Y'all won't believe this. My parents who live in Mississippi are taking an anniversary trip to Hawaii that has been planned and they leave the 12th. They'll be there from the 12th to the 20th and they have a free day. Guess what day is their free day? The 14th. And guess where they'll be in Honolulu, which is where we will be. How on earth? Anyway, so my parents are going to be down there in Honolulu and going to be available on the 14th because they're taking a, like a trip and get, they got stuff to do every day. That's their day. They don't have anything to do. So that's kind of cool. They'll get to see Josiah and us. Hey, J. Rob, hun, I didn't know you were sick. I'd heard you'd been sick and got better. You didn't know when to start to send all the good juju for healing. That's right, Brandy. Worlds align. I know. Great. There's Miss Mindy. Got to see her down in Texas too. Family reunion in Hawaii. Kind of, right? So, right, Judy. And um, that's crazy that they're going to be there too. But we're going to be there a week before and a week after surgery and hope that that's plenty of time. I had told him that Thursday night I talked to him that he needed to, you know, all the forms again. I went over the forms again. And he said he understood now he'd go to the clinic himself. That was supposed to be his Sunday, my Monday. I have not heard from him since. I know my phone's been off, but he, we only talked through messenger and I had my iPad on and I've never heard from him since I've tried calling him on messenger and I've sent him more messages. So I don't know what's going on there. I am waiting to hear. I do not have a place to stay. Although we did have a family friend, Jerry, are you listening out there? We had a family friend call and they tried to call my phone today because when he got it transferred, it said that we missed a call that he says he knows some military buddies down there that may have a, may be able to help find us a place to stay. I don't know though. I don't know. And I don't know where they are in location to the hospital. So it's, I don't know how it's all going to work out. It's hard not to, I guess anxious is the word. It is hard. Uh, Rick Shaw called again. Okay. Yeah. He tried to call my phone just so you know, sorry. <laughs> I needed him to know it's been crazy. So. We still have to work out housing. Um, so I've been without my phone since Friday until just about an hour ago. Uh, we finally figured out there wasn't one in Texas for us. We couldn't even go to Verizon in Dallas or anywhere. They did not have the phone that we needed. And if we did end up going, we would be having to do another plan. And I have insurance. So we paid the $99 to have it delivered here. I know, Judy. I know. So we got home to that phone. Uh, let's see. I did have a massage on Saturday and that was the weirdest massage I've ever had. <laughs> hey, Rosalind. Um, I wasn't the only one that experienced that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So Berta had had a massage, I think Friday. I scheduled mine for Saturday. And she was saying how wonderful a massage are, and it was, and this lady put CBD stuff all over it. Um, did I lose what? My phone? No, it broke, Mindy, at the retreat. I broke it on the glass of the marble countertop, glass countertop, the marble countertop in the bathroom. Yep. Um, so, and I spent all of Friday trying to find a new phone. Now, every day. We get so many messages every single day. I had to sit down and spend time. We brought the computer because Jay Paul got a whole lot done. We got to show y'all tonight. So I got to show you what he got done. So he worked the whole time and he got a whole lot done. And every morning I'd answer emails. Hey, Rochelle, how are you, hon? We sure missed you. So um, 
she was going on and on about this wonderful massage that she had and the CBD stuff and all that. I'm like, oh, I'm looking forward to this. So um, get through Friday. I just start. I had to go to my room and take a chill pill and calm down and go back and start diamond painting. And I finally got to start diamond painting later that evening. And my massage was the next day. So I started going to get that massage. Well, that was the funkiest massage I have ever had, ever. Um, because I was weirded out by the lady. I did not feel modest or I didn't feel like she was protecting me very well. And it wasn't a massage. As a matter of fact, I felt like she'd fallen asleep massaging me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Janet, what you mean? But what had happened was uh, my email popped up on the iPad. Jerry finally got it on there and it said I had a receipt from somebody there. And I'm like, well, who's this person? Oh, it's the massage. And Jay Paul given her a, a tip. And I said, really? I'm like, that's a lot of money. Um, see, Wanda used a CBD on her knee and elbow. Uh, I said, I've never given a, a, a massage for a tip. I get a massage for haircuts, a massage for, you know, a um, waitress because they make like minimum wage and they live off the tips. But a massage person gets $60, 70 $80 an hour. I didn't think they needed tips. So some bird is saying, yeah, you give a tip. And, and somebody, <laughs> oh, okay, Janet. Um, well, not necessarily, but it was still very, strange the way that she did things and not quite covered as much as I should have. And so when I said that on my iPad that about the massage, uh, Carly behind me uh, said, Hey, just so you know, I didn't leave a tip either. I'm like, Oh, she goes, yeah. Um, I even thought she fell asleep and that started a whole conversation. I'm like, what? You, you thought she fell asleep. I thought she fell asleep. And then the, the girl across the room, we, we called her over. We said, Vanessa, <laughs> how was your experience? And so she was like, it's okay. And then she started really getting into it. She's like, well, I felt like I wasn't covered. And I thought she fell asleep on me. And we're like, we thought she fell asleep on us. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> um, we thought she fell asleep. None of us felt like it was a good experience. So anyway, we told the owner about that. And that was that was the talk of the evening. But we also did um, an ES down there, an enhancement suggestion down there with Kara. Kara had a lot of good paintings that she gave away. So I got another handful of paintings from Kara. We exchanged paintings with Berta because that's how we've been able to do some of these Dakota um, Zodiacs, I think, I think they're called. Do you need to ask before CBD on you? She did ask. She asked. It's in her salve. And she asked if it's okay if she used it. And she did on the joints and stuff. <laughs> yes, Karen, it was a different one. That person was not there again. So, and they have four new ones, four new ones. Anyway, so it was strange, but that was talking. But we stayed up late that night. I don't know what happened after that. We stayed up all night on Saturday night and we got into some laughing fits and uh yeah it was it was fun we had it had a good time she had a rough night the night before and was probably hung over <laughs> I don't know Judy I don't know um so that was a that was a little bit crazy also uh have y'all ever heard oh I don't have them here with me all right I don't know what it's truly called, folks, <laughs> but there was little ducks left all around the place. Now, somebody said they do it on cruises. Somebody says they leave ducks on Jeeps. Have y'all ever heard of this? I need to know. Yes, Karen, I'll see you in Ohio. Stop it, Berta. I forgot about that. Forgot about why we were laughing so much. And they're making me, they're making fun. We had Tima and Berta crying. They were laughing so hard. That's true. I had to run to the bathroom too, because there's this kind of beating that this gal Vanessa did that was so cool. Um, it was just beautiful. And it's a special kind of beating. Ducks on Jeeps. Yes, says Sue. My stepdaughter and niece collect those ducks everywhere. Seriously? Yep. Cruises. Live rubber ducks, not live. Although we lost another duck while we were gone. I got that call from Serenity too. We lost that. 
um, rubber ducks or little bitty ducks. Ducks and Jeeps is a big thing. Never heard of this. I was in bed sleeping. So I know, right, Mindy? Mindy goes to bed fairly early. Yes, she does. Uh, heard of ducks on Jeeps. Yes, on cruises. Okay. I have a Jeep and have ducks. Caden, real ducks or, or fake ducks? Heard of Jeeps on ducks. Okay. I never heard of this. And there was these little ducks all around the building, everywhere. And people started finding them and everybody denied it. And I think I know who it was because of the clues that I got. She flat out denied it. Everybody denied it. So, you know, somebody there was not telling the truth. That's right. So we still have a mystery yet to solve. That has never been solved. There's Miss Pink Poodle. Hope your knee's doing better, honey. Yeah, definitely real, real ducks in my windshield. <laughs> um. Yeah, Berta and her duck was duck napped. So they had a little duck put on their controller for their air conditioner and it was gone. There she is. Uh, Ashley's here. So we lost a real duck while we were gone. While we were, while we were, where our ducks were being distributed down there. <laughs> we lost a real duck here. But when I came home, she had, they had put up spikes all around the top of the fencing. And y'all won't believe this. She, it wasn't Berta. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anybody else think Tima was talking about massages and getting beat up by the massage lady beating? <laughs> um, she didn't do it. I think it's someone on TikTok diamond paint on rubber ducks too. Hmm. But they, Serenity put netting across the top of the cage and spikes. So it's spikes and netted. So this net was in case it was an owl because owls, <clears throat> we have discovered, pull off heads off ducks and uh, spikes if it's critters getting in. Because we have had proof that we have coons and possums getting in. So she's hoping to keep those out. She also is trying to raise two uh, duck eggs. Birdie, your duck is gone like your mouse. <laughs> and then, um, see, Marion has a jeep, jeep and she's been left ducks. <laughs> Um, but now she wants to get baby quail. Have any of y'all heard of button quail? Serenity wants to get baby quail and button quail now. So, hey, she's taking care of them. I guess she can. Um, uh, apart from many things, Jeeps, gifting groups, when you've been, uh, given ducks. Right, Berta, uh, Deanie. So I didn't know anything about it. No one admitted to it. There was ducks all over. So that was one of the things. That's right, Berta got two new puppies, but one, one yesterday, she brought home a new puppy yesterday. She's got four now. Hardware cloth. Yes. Um, it's hardware cloth. I think Marsha. So that's been bird proof while we were gone. Serenity caught up in orders. My son-in-law seems to be okay. We got a call Sunday night. My son, Benjamin, his car went out. So his car went out. They came over and borrowed our truck <laughs> and they used our truck to get home. And then they went to a local ministry that get, uh, lets missionaries use, his van, use vans when they get back. They sell their vans as they get older and, and turn their fleet over. The great horned owl is really like baby quail. So be careful. <laughs> um, used to raid birds as a hobby, including button quail. Cool, Christine. Josiah's calling. I forgot about the garage door. We also, hey, can can I at least say hi to Josiah real quick, guys? Hold on, hold on. Hold, is that okay? Let's see. Whoop, how do I answer? New phone, answer. Josiah. Oh, it says start video. Stop it. Hey, Josiah. Hi, you are on my live, son. You're on my live. You called right during the live. Everybody say hi to Josiah. He's in Japan. He's my Navy son in Japan. There you go. Everybody said yes, of course. There he is. Kids first. So they're all saying hi to you. They know about we're going to be taking a trip to Hawaii. And I just got through telling them that I haven't heard from you. So, oh, look at that. Come up over here. Stop. Hold on, son. I got to get my camera is disobeying me there. Now stop. Stop right there. Stop it. Okay. So, okay. So I can't talk long, but any news at all about housing? Yeah. Housing? What do we got? So uh, the guy sent out an email to them. Okay. Requesting, hey, he has orders and stuff. He's going there. 
requesting that it allows it. So we're waiting for an email back from them. So we're just waiting on that. I do know that I will be leaving the 13th of March. Okay. So that's when I leave, and I'll probably arrive there later the 13th of March. So. Okay. We'll be getting there on 13th of March, too. So we'll be getting into, I can't remember, um, bring on the place to stay. <laughs> That's right. So you're saying that your clinic went ahead and emailed the Fisher place or the Fisher house? Mm -hmm. They did. Yep, I went on, yes, I went on, I went on the website. I found their emails and their numbers and I gave it to them. I said, please contact them. Because that is what you told me that they said that they have to contact you from the clinic. So yes. that's what I told them and they sent out and they sent it out. Okay. And how have you been? How have I been? Your pain well, any worse? Amazing. Oh, it's absolutely worse. It is worse. It's getting worse. Can you still move? Yeah. Yes, I can still move. Okay. Okay. They've told him, the doctor told him that uh, they're amazed at how well he's doing. So, but it is getting worse, you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And you leave, you'll be there the 13th. And so we'll wait. Can I call and talk to you later? You can. Okay. And although um, dad may have his phone, if you want to talk there, get images. Um, oh, did, do you have images? Do you have any of the images? You have them? Like, yeah. like you can show me? I believe I can. I just have to. I just have to go through my emails again. Okay, maybe you can send me a picture of that. What What's worse, the pain in your legs? Yeah, the pain in my legs. Pain in the legs is worse. Okay, no fevers, yeah. nothing like that. Well, nah, as far as I know, now. Okay, um, no loss of anything else, just the pain. Okay. Well, that's the most thing that my brain's focused on. I'm not paying attention to anything else. Okay, all right. Well, I have sure been thinking about you every day since I haven't heard from you in almost a week, son. So I was hoping everything was okay. And my phone has, I broke my phone. So this is a new, this phone is broken and I'm talking to you on the new phone. So I now have it back. I don't have the right case for it. The case that I ordered, by the way, folks, here's the other story. I ordered a case yesterday from Amazon and it came in today and it's the wrong case. So I don't have a case. I have an old one that I've cut the hole out more to try to fit it on. So see, it's not fitting right. But anyway, so lots going on here. You are welcome to call dad or the kids. It's so great to hear you. And I'm glad to see that's underway. Do you have a clue of when they're all saying hugs and prayers to you? Best of luck on your surgery. They're all saying that to you. Do you have any idea like when you'll hear back or when we'll know like should so we shouldn't book a room yet or anything? No, uh, most likely. If, so like the Navy's always last minute. So it's that I can't even guarantee you on when they're going to reach back to me and saying something's available or not. And how so, did you do that? By email? Yeah, I, uh, I sent an email to them. Okay. They cc'd me an email that they sent out. To Fisher House. Okay. Do you know one more thing before I let you go? Um, do you know that if you signed any of those papers, what was it called, Cheryl? Um, basically, the legal, the legal, the legal stuff. Like yes, that. the legal stuff. Yes, but also like for me and Dad to be able to get, see information. Um, uh, you know that. I called it HIPAA, but it was called the release of information, I think. Maybe it's the release of information so, form. Uh, I have to ask. Uh, I have to ask again because I did ask for that. Still probably have to delve into it. I think I'm just getting some headway here. Okay. Because I think I'm a little bit reluctant to do that. Okay. Well, That's there's all. there's a release of information, an ROI form. I sent you the name of that form, the exact name of the form, the medical power of attorney as well. So if anything happens to you while you're being operated on, the the military doesn't make the decisions we do. And then the, the release of information, that's it, an ROI. And I gave you the form on there. If you're able to get those signed, then I can call Fisher House and they can tell me whether or not that they've reached out and I can call and talk to people on that end. So if you're able to do that this week, that would be fantastic. 
but I love you. I'm so glad you called and that you're okay. And um, I'll see you soon, but I'll talk to you sooner. Um, you're welcome to call them, but thanks for calling. Love you, hun. And thanks for trying. And um, we'll we'll keep we'll keep in touch, okay? Please. All right. Thank you. Bye, hun. Okay. So, who gotta love uh, messenger sometimes, huh? So talk to somebody in Japan, and y'all talked heard me. It heard the whole conversation. So he did finally reach out. And hopefully they followed through and have already emailed. Well, he said they've already emailed Fisher House. So let's pray it all works out on such short notice. So there's all of that. So there's this new beating. Back to the beating thing. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Which number child is he? Oh, Tiffany, Bobby, Brittany, Ben, Jonathan, Josiah. He's number six. It's Janet. So he's number six. That's where he fits in. And he's 24. Um, and he has, oh, so I guess y'all don't know exactly what it was. It was called, um, there's a mass that is surrounding his spinal cord and it's wrapped around his spinal cord. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, and I think he said 15 by nine millimeters is the mass 15 by nine millimeters, I believe is the size. Thank you, Kel. How are you doing? <sighs> so there's the progress report on Josiah. Y'all heard it with me live time. Um, today's the first. I still haven't paid my employees. I need to do that. Um, I haven't, and I have to give refunds. So I have to give shipping refunds. That'll be tomorrow and paying all the employees will be tomorrow. Because let's see. Oh, so I kept calling this bead thing. Sounds like coyote. Every time that Cheryl would say, Cheryl G would say, okay, that's coyote beating. It's, it sounds like coyote beating. And I think they were, and Berta said, no, it's pay And And um, that just, that was too late at night. We were cracking up. We were in tears, having to run to the bathroom, all the things. So it's pay beating. pay 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 it sounds like coyote beating, okay? It looked really cool, and I kept trying to get Vanessa to sell me some, but she didn't. All right, all right. Peyote stuff. Yeah, okay. Y'all got it. So that was a great night. <clears throat> the next day, Sunday, everybody had to be checked out by 12, who was leaving the first retreat. And then the lady at the quilt retreat was having an open one that we had signed up for at the end. Peyote beading is the name of a beading stitch. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not beading. What's not beading? Peyote beading is the name of a beading stitch. Yeah, it was beading. Peyo Peyote to be. I don't know what that is, Melanie. I don't know. Time for princess to go to sleep. <laughs> Night, Mindy. <laughs> See, you go to bed so early, miss all the fun stuff. See? <laughs> but it was good visiting with you. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, so the next day we had four hours between 12 and four that they were going to be cleaning the floors. We could either stay in our room and sleep or we went out to go shopping because I had run out of water, jugged water by that time. And Berta always needs smart water. That's Berta's water of choice. She has to have smart water and we want to keep her in the smart water because we need Berta smart. And Berta is very smart. Peoples, don't confuse T Mom more. What are they saying? <laughs> I was really confused for a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. So we decided, oh, I know what. Because for two days, all I had been thinking about, I was asking Berta. She is the seasoned traveler. She knows how to travel and she knows how to pack does not do po what i don't do the beating berta does it actually make you smart kaden you don't want to see her without it mm -mm, mm -mm. sue drinks smart water look at that twinsies there huh <laughs> um so we had to pick up more water and i had been for two days asking berta all about how what 
peyote is a drug. Y'all, y'all are not having me say the wrong thing, are you? Hi, Kimberly. Now, y'all better not be making me say the wrong thing. Okay, for two days, I've been asking Berta, tell me what kind of suitcase suitcases to purchase and how I need to pack and all the things. Do you know that even though $1,700 round trip, that's not first class to Hawaii. And they're saying, oh, if you want six more inches on your feet, you can upgrade to the next thing of first, not first class, regular seating, but you just get more foot space. And um, that was like a hundred and something dollars. It was 300 more dollars to do that. Peyote is also a drug you can smoke. It's popular in Native Americans. That's why I said don't confuse her more. No, Tina will not do that to you. Probably a Native American stitch, says Janet. Peyote button is a hallucinogenic mushroom. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just call it coyote feeding because no one can think I'm smoking nothing or doing anything if we call it the coyote feeding. And y'all know what I'm talking about. And they were really pretty and she wouldn't sell me one. Mm -mm, she wouldn't. It took her. It, it takes a lot of time and money. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> and I told her, I said, well, if I paid you double, it pays for the kit and you can buy another one. But nah, she didn't want to do it. I tried. I tried. But uh, so we went shopping the next day for suitcases. We went to Walmart and the first Walmart only had green and that was only 16 minutes away. But we had four hours to kill. So why not go down to Waco? So we went to Waco. Thank you. Let's do that. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, thank you, Kayleen. It smells so good. It's so good. Hey, Lulu. Okay. So we drove to Waco, even past, um, what's that place we go eating at? It's like the South and it's Southern cooking. What is it? It's the restaurant. Do I have gummies? I don't, Caden. They're in another room. Do you go to the silos? I don't know what silos is. We we'll never think that of you. Thanks, Melinda. I don't know what silos is. Ross is a great place to buy luggage. Oh, well, we didn't. I don't know about Ross. We just trying to go to Walmart. Cracker Barrel. Thank you. I can't remember. <laughs> I need a drink. I don't know. We even drove past Cracker Barrel where we know they have Squishmallows and Cheryl didn't even tell us that she's seen it and she didn't even have a stop. The silos are in Waco. Okay, no, I didn't. I didn't. I don't. I didn't go to any silos. So we did make it to Waco. We went to, they had a big Walmart and we did get purple and blue suitcases. So we have the suitcases and then we went some Squishmallow hunting and then by that time we're what okay costco has well i don't got luggage magnolia silos restaurant and shopping mm, i didn't know that samsonite hard luggage on sale okay have another drink that's right let's get another drink okay and we started doing some squishmallow shopping and start stopped at target and whatever we didn't get back they were waiting supper on us down there they held supper for us and was worried about us we were supposed to be back at four when did we get back, ladies? 5.30? No, we did not go. We wanted to get back to the retreat. Yeah, sure. We got back at like 5.30 or 6. Put air tags on your luggage. What's an air tag? Country kitchen. It was Cracker Barrel. That was it. I got a cute Mickey Mouse today. And my cat's trying to steal it. What's an air tag, y'all? Is it something different than a name tag? Because we got, we, we got all kind of cute stuff. We got bandanas to wrap around. Because... Berta has this pom pom thing on the on hers. What is it? Degum air tag. Caden? Oh my gosh, that's something else. It's like a tracker. Seriously? It's a tracker. Y'all, I was down there and I got this cup for eleven dollars with my shop money. Okay. I have it said spend your shop money. I never spent it before I went and I got this sucker for eleven dollars shipped to my house. This was my favorite color they had on that store at the time. I done knocked that over the second day too. 
I, I knocked that over and busted my thingy and it won't sit flat now. Oh, that also happened down there. My son has them on his outside cats. And air tag are technical ways to track through your phone. I fly all the time and Tammy's never heard of it. Apple tracking device. Well, what if I only have electronic tracking device? And so if your luggage gets lost, you can find it. What if they can't they cut it off? Don't forget about Cheryl getting in the wrong car. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Our last stop was Walgreens because they had some of these. Look, they had these cutesy little things. These were all um, mysteries and they're all Easter ones and they're all little. That one actually says, Cheryl, extra cute on it. It's really hard to see it, but it says it right there. It's a GPS device device air tag it's made for apple devices okay y'all so guess what i was in my hip was going out that day because i had not had enough sleep and i think it was the way them chairs were sitting even though i had a cushion and i brought my cane down just in case because i was having trouble before we left and sure enough we were in walgreens and we were trying to decide if we had some of these, some of the squishmallows or not. And I don't know because my phone was broken and all my pictures are on my phone. So Cheryl goes, let me go out to the car. So she's left me in the aisle to go out to the car to get hers. And guess what? My hip went out. I had to stop right there and grab the shelf. And I had to call across the store. I couldn't see Cheryl. I said, Cheryl. She's like, yeah. I said, cane. And she knew exactly what I meant. And she went to go get that cane for me. She was in a hurry to get her phone in the cane. And she daggum opened the door of the wrong car. And she says, to be fair, she was hurrying because I was frozen in place, which is true. But she was trying to get in the wrong car. And they all they did when instead of notifying her, they're just laughing their heads off. That's all they're doing. They're just sitting there laughing at her going, I wonder why she's getting in that car. Look at that. She's getting in that car. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. And she knew right away it wasn't my car because she goes, it's too clean to be your car. I knew I was in the wrong car. So then that's right. She got in the wrong car. But um. Oh, Scott Boss Kareen, brought Kareen her first squishmallow today. Type Al in the live chat. That's right. Guys, let's stop on the air tag. She has enough going on right now. <laughs> you put your air tag in your luggage. Oh, well, we need to find one for, for Androids. I'll put it down on my list. Air tag for luggage. If I can order it and get it here, I'll do it. I can't tell if I really want to travel with you guys or run in the other direction. Rich? <laughs> it depends. <laughs> if you want to have some laughs and hopefully stand on the sidelines, eh, I don't know. But you might get caught up in the whole thing too. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it was get you a life alert. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, when my hip, when my hip gets caught, it gets caught and I cannot move. Oh my gosh. How did you get in the wrong car? Nobody locks their cars. She didn't actually get in, but she did go to, I mean, she opened the door and she saw it. Would, who knows? It wasn't locked. They just ran right in. It wasn't locked. So no room in that little purse. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we did get back. We got back late and they were signing up again for more um, massages. I wasn't going to get no more massages. I had enough of that massage, but it was a different lady and Bert was going to get another massage because her back was hurting. Tile. And I, um, I'm like, I don't know. And she talked me in, into it and then she paid for it. And instead of 60, she made it a 90 minute massage so I could have the hot rocks and the, um, the CBD salve and all the things. And so I had another massage there and this one was much better. <laughs> it was 90 minutes and much better with this little gal. And then I bought a little bit of that CBD, CBD salve, oil salve and you know, it was essential oil and CBD salve to bring home. And uh, anyway, <sighs> well, Caden, that's the problem. Yeah, getting older is not granted to everyone. So we got to we got to make the most of it. <laughs> I know, Judy, you cannot make this stuff up. If I were to tell y'all every little thing, y'all wouldn't believe it anyway. Because y'all no, mm -mm. It, it's just no. So, um, so yeah, I don't even have the notes for all the things. Dadgummit, stop it. 
they're trying to get me to do new new things on my phone and I don't know how to do new things on my phone. Um, I did start chewing gum though while I was there. My earbuds have tile and I love it. Why are your earbuds have tile? Okay, just for giggles, my sister and cousin came to visit once. They walked into the house two doors down, very happy to be there and had two big dogs running down the hall. <laughs> that's funny. That's scary, but that's funny. <laughs> Oh, help me. Suffice it to say, it does not stop. Yes, it doesn't stop. So we did drive through the night. I can't remember all the other things that went thing. I don't know. I told y'all that. I told y'all that. I don't know all the things that we told you lost another duck. We told you the hot water heater went out and the sink in the laundry room. Oh, our printer's going out too. My son says today, I'm tired of this printer. It won't print the labels right. And I'm like, fine because we knew before we left that it started pulling out two pages at a time and all this kind of stuff tile gets my gps tracked my earbuds why are you want to track your earbuds i will sue let me get that too so anyway we're gonna to have to get a printer but hopefully that'll last till after the hawaii trip let me show y'all some of the things i got would i would love to go on a trip with you ladies it would be a hoot <laughs> Hey, so Sue Bell is the sweetest, y'all. So she is the sweetest thing. Look what she got me. A pastel glitter rainbow pen. Isn't it beautiful? It's not one to focus. There you go. Look at this thing. Isn't it beautiful? She knew the types of ends I like. And it's pretty light. Um, How's your son doing? Does he... Ooh, my family's looking at me. I'm laughing so hard. Oh, you see, Judy? Now you know I had to run to the bathroom in the middle of the night. That's right. That's exactly what I said. Uh-huh. Uh, how's your son? Does he have a date for his? Yes, Sonia. It is March 19th. And we, he was on here earlier, Sonia. If you're just getting on, we just talked to him in Japan. Isn't it beautiful? It's fantastically beautiful. I loved it. So thoughtful. She knew exactly. Rainbow glitter, right? But it doesn't stop there, folks. Look what she did. Look at this. Y'all, she got me a writing pen, too. A rainbow writing pen with bling on it. Isn't it beautiful? It was so thoughtful of her. Yeah, she gave Cheryl a matching pen, too. So the same, different, um, different style, but the same color. So, Sue... I so appreciate these pens and it's so thoughtful of you to do that. Very pretty. Yes. So that was very, very nice of Sue to do that for me. I, um, very, um, thoughtful. Now, speaking of things that I picked up this pen, I think this is one that Kara was, stop it. Yeah, stop it. I think this was one Kara was getting rid of is one of these. And I typically have not had good luck with this type of pen per se, but I want to tell you after five days of diamond painting, most of the day, thank you, Sonia. Um, do you know who turned them? Christine, she said it was somebody in Canada. I want to thank you, Timo. I got my Kevin's Steepy Pins and similar to your heart, but it's butterflies. Cute. Thank you, Jeannie. Yay. I'm so glad. And my finger, this finger felt bruised because I diamond painted so much. It felt bruised. So I had to start getting a pen that I could hold differently and not touch this finger. And this one did help me. I did start using, I tried every pen. It don't matter. My best pens, my most, yes, it is a palm pen pen. And I've tried all kinds of things in the past. And typically I would not use a pen like this, but my finger hurts so bad after, towards the end that I would use this just to hold my finger differently. I changed all kinds of pens so I can have the best pens for me, but it doesn't matter after diamond painting every day for five days, it hurt. My finger hurt. So I had to try all different kinds of pens. Uh, order a printer maintenance kit. It will fix page pickups. Hmm. All right, Elizabeth. Well, uh, Jerry had tried to fix that before we left and he took it apart and serviced it and did whatever, but it's still doing it. So, oh, thank you, Judy. <laughs> the ink pen was turned by pen turning and more from Canada. There you go. Pen turning and more from Canada. That's who she got that from. Uh, speaking of which, Berta 
brought me the Native Princess Diamond Painting. So we will come up with an enhancement suggestion for that at some point in the future. We don't this month of March. This is a new month. It's a new month, gal. Yeah. Um, how are you? Charity woke up sick today. So that's Charity. Do you need something? Yeah. Ask, ask Daddy. Go take a um, cough drop. And um, there we do have some pain. Some Go ask Dad. Go look in the closet for some, uh, I can't remember, sucrets or something, cough spray or drops in there, okay? She woke up sick today, folks. She was fine when I seen her yesterday, and she woke up sick today. Uh, do you think it would help with tendonitis in the thumb? Maybe. It depends on how you're holding it. So you, so, some of them you can get bigger than this. You can actually, you know, with the whole palm thing. But it might. This is how I hold it. I don't know. Mine, I get hurt right here. So I, I need something that doesn't sit beside it. So this works for that for a while. Uh, she woke up with a sore throat today and she's all stuffy. So, yeah. <laughs> Sue says they turn all kind of things. Okay, so Berta brought me the Native Princess Diamond Painting and gave me, of course, a, um, a massage. And so I got to show you what Cheryl got me because take a tea, tablespoon of honey. Tell Ren I loved her note. Oh, I don't know if she can hear me right now, but I'll try to remember to tell her about it. Okay, I'm going to try to turn around. Let's see. Pashi makes a ring pot pen like that and um, palm pen. Yes, it looks like a diamond shape. I'm going to try to get some things. Let me see where they are. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I got a lot of stuff to show y'all. Is that the one they changed the name on? Is that the, I hope she feels very soon. I don't know, Jamie, what you mean. Is what the one they changed? Oh, while I'm looking in this bag, let me show y'all my new bag. So remember, this is this was made as a quilting retreat, the place that we went to. <clears throat> and these were on display there. Look, is this beautiful or what? This lady quilted this um, bag and she, I said, that's pretty cool. And again, remember, I'm thinking trip. So I'm thinking this would make a great carry on craft bag because it's a medium size. It's not too little. It's not too big. Look at this. Look at that in those pockets, They're like six pockets, but look around the edges, guys. It says made with love, dream, be kind, happiness, bloom, be the good, imagine, beautiful, hope, create. Is that not beautiful? I'm like, and it says happiness, grow, joy, dream, made with love, be brave. I'm like, I have to have that bag. <laughs> um <laughs> And I asked the owner, she goes, well, she don't usually sell those bags because those are for display, but you can ask her when she comes on Saturday. So <clears throat> carry on, <laughs> no, just to carry on craft, craft bag, Brandy. <laughs> and I thought it was so beautiful with the gold zipper and all. So she said I could buy it. Well, it had shorter straps, probably this short which you can barely get up under your arm. And I said, is there a way I can make this longer? And could you put D rings on here? She goes, you know what? I got gold D rings at home. I'll just undo this strap that I've already made. I'll make you longer straps. Sure. I can do that. She did it. She brought this back Sunday, maybe. And, um, cause she knew we were staying maybe Monday and she made new straps and put on the D rings. I had a cough, sore throat. We just found out that she has asthma on top of it all. Oh, no, Sonia. That's terrible. Uh, hey, Brenda. And then, um, so I knew, I probably had some black ones from an old suitcase or bag, but I went on Amazon and found this one. Now, Cheryl thought it was going to be gaudy, and Cheryl, the striped one came in, but the striped one is rose gold, and this is the only one that came in that really bright, bright gold, That so it matches this better, and it's only the inch and a half wide. The two inch one was a little longer and maybe a little more comfortable, but it was rose gold. So I'm going to keep this one. Here it is. Where did it? Here's the other one that came in yesterday. Y'all, I came home to a stack of Amazon boxes this tall. Every day we were shopping Amazon. 
Um, my friend Mary told me, um, oh, guess what? Diamond Art Club has new Amazon uh, diamond paintings. We're like, what? So me and Cheryl and Berta all went shopping and got new, new diamond paintings. Those come in. Those were all here. And then I went shopping for straps. See this one? It's rose gold. So even though it says gold on the thing, it's rose gold. Come back here, you silly. So it doesn't match as well, even though it is longer in two inches. So we're going to go with that. But I'm very, very happy about my bag. Very happy. So this is going to be my carry-on craft bag to the hospital and on the trip so I can craft and stop doing it. Thank you. Um, on the plane. I got a piece of matching fabric in case I need to put some on the bottom since the bottom is white. But we also got Scotch Guard. Oh, look, Berta found this at Five Below. So we got a big duck. Um, how does your camera move with you? Honey, this is a new thing called Instacamera 360. And this thing is every time I'm waving something, it starts moving. You got the Amazon butterfly. I'm going to bling that baby up. Yay. Yay. Um, yeah, you better believe they were talented. That woman is something else. Did you know that they have as many squirrels there too? So many squirrels. Where are the squirrels? What are you talking about? I don't know. That's pretty strong. It's a bug. Yeah, it's the little bug. So, oh, you mean these? They have squirrels there at Five Below too? Is that what you're saying? They have squirrels at Five Below? I don't know. I don't know what she's saying. But they gave everybody, um, two of the ladies there, Bonnie and Lucy, they were generous and gave everybody a box of chocolate. And this was mine and J-Paw. So you don't know where this is going to go. I don't know if y'all remember, but when I showed y'all the guest room um, a couple months ago, and I had a diamond painting on the wall with the emoji heart eyes. I decided to make a game in my room, so in the guest room. So right now we're up to 10 emoji things. It could be anything. It could be a stuffed animal, a little lollipop holder. And these are empty now, but these are going to go up in there too. So you're going to have to find, uh, uh, oh, squirrels. Got you. <laughs> the squirrels are three trees. Okay. Yeah. We kept getting, there'd be like, oh, the new diamond painting. So we went and shot for that. We're like, oh, now we need a new cutter. So um, Cheryl's like, I use these cutters for the cards. Y'all remember the, the cards that we sell? Of course, mine are still packed. So these little um, cutters, like this, these little knife cutters she uses, she puts on the double-sided sticky tape down our color cards. And then she uses this in a, in a, um, ruler and makes the little slits on the adhesive to peel them off to put on the drills. Do not need more diamond paintings. I know April. Do do you think any of us need more diamond paintings? Is there anyone here that actually needs another diamond painting? Well, yes. Yes. I'm going to have to say yes because look, I got, oh, so every single day, Cheryl. Yeah. Here's the link squirrel. Gotcha. Gotcha, Berta. Yep. We just kept sharing links and we kept buying stuff. Every single day, Cheryl G, I would wake up to a gift on my table every day. And I'm not going to get them in order. I am not because I don't remember them all. But this was one of them. She got me one of the Make Markets Rainbow Hearts. So um, I get to do this one. Yes, define need. Right, right, Gabrielle, right. This is another do you remember those bags that we got, the light pad bags that I got matching for me and Cheryl? Well, she got me a pin bag. And this is from So Blingy, folks. So Blingy on Instagram. So if you want any of these types of bags, go broke, buy one of everything you sell. <laughs> a little at a time, a little at a time, right? And it has this matching little bag and this. And it goes in this bag. Cool, right? Uh, so Cheryl got me all of those. She got me, where'd it go? Where'd it go? It was just here. Oh, this, I laid it here. <laughs> yes. So blingy. Hey Tia. Yep. Um, another day I woke up to this beautiful heart pen. Look at this. I think it's, I think I could be wrong. It's a D Bill Durblank. Is that right? Cheryl G. And look at that heart with the black um iridescent in there and the glitter it was lovely so we have matching heart pins it she gave me one from bff that's from my bff 
If you haven't gone seen them, do that. Bird about this at Five Below. Ain't that fun? It's more highlighters. See? They're all highlighters. Ooh, that's kind of hard to... All different colors. So that was so fun. I loved those. That's from Miss Berta as well. There's a lot of stuff. We got a little scraper, a matching scraper. I guess that's to keep drill straight or something. Yeah, I don't know. I need me a pin bag. Right, Jeannie? Okay, these were the ones they gave us. Oh, Berta gave us, Berta gave us one of these too. She got these. Look, it's so cute. Look on his bootay. Look at it. There's a heart. And you, when you press them down, so you get the colors. I don't even know how many colors there are. That's a lot of colors. Ten colors. So that was at five below. Isn't that sweet? So Berta got us each one of those. <laughs> oh, I forgot. This was another. Oh, here it is. Here's so blingy. There you go. There's the information. Join our Facebook. Oh, they have a Facebook group. So blingy. Instagram, so blingy, 5473. No idea why it's 5473, but there you go. They have new products. And one of them is this bag that Cheryl wanted one bigger for the others to fit in. And guess what? Speaking of Kevin's Creation, there we go. Kevin's Creations over there on Etsy. That's another magnet that Miss Cheryl got us for matching magnets. Remember, I woke up to a new gift every day. Y'all, that was the sweetest thing. And I don't know what this is right now. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look, it's like getting them all over again. So these are so cute. They're rainbow owls. Look at these. It was a set of three rainbow owls. And Cheryl made them into magnets. Isn't that sweet? So that was another thing that we had matching. So many things. And all the beautiful cards. Every day there was a new card. One. So that's one. Two, three, four, five. My gosh, there was so many cards. Every day there was something. I hope I'm not forgetting something. Oh, still half asleep. It's okay. So this was another day. I woke up to this. There's something in that bag. Oh, it's a sticker. It says kindness. Oh my gosh. It says kindness potion. And there's axolotls on that sticker. That's the first time I've seen that. I'm guessing you knew it was there, Cheryl, because I didn't know it was in that bag. This is just a little hand-sewn bag. And these little magnets were down in this bag. And, oh, yeah, those are from Vanessa. I bought those. I'll just show you those. Where did you get the owl, Cheryl? Yeah, I don't know where she did. And she got these. So cute. Look at here. Look at those cuties. Aren't those cute? I love that Snoopy, too. Look at that. Snoopy and Wood start with the rainbow heart and all those sweet dragons. I think that's from the same gal that I did the um, butterfly dragon, right? I think so. Oh, she said she got it from Dollar Tree. Get this. I bought both Timo and Cheryl a bag. They literally picked out the same bag, not knowing. We picked out the same bag. Yes, yeah, Snoopy Wanda. Thank you, Kel. I got these from that gal, Vanessa, with the beads. Look at this. I bought these from her. Aren't these pretty? So she had made these. And so I got me some pretty ones from her. I, I hope I don't have this one. I'd have to look. I know I have flamingos, but I don't think I have this one. So anyway, I got some pretties there. Is that, that zip bag? Deb was making. Good gracious. Thank you, Bert. I'm like, bag? What bag? Okay. Oh, thanks, Nancy. Okay. J. Paul, uh, or somebody, if y'all can hear me, in my room is my travel bag. 
I need y'all to bring me that travel bag, please. It did have other bags. That's right. I forgot. I knew there was something else. I knew it. That's right. So Berta picked out, and we didn't even take a picture of the other bag. Berta picked out a craft bag for us, or she said we could get it. She was going to pay for us a craft bag. And um, we ended up picking the same material. We didn't even know it. <laughs> anyway, you need a Snoopy sticker. That one happened to be a um, magnet. Okay, so these were the, the theme this year was Top Gun. And these were given to us by those other ladies, Lucy and Bonnie, along with the chocolate. So Jay Paul and I both got a bag. See how it says flight crew. Now, let me ask y'all, if we put these on our suitcases, would that mislead people if we had flight crew on there or not? And then Tina, I bought some fabric and had one made for Berta. Yep, we surprised her too. And it was uh, rainbow dream catchers with blue and green hummingbirds on the other side. So this little bag was so full of so many little goodies. It had scissors with a fob on there that Lucy made for everybody. Oh, it's just all kind of things. Cutters, uh, tape measure. It was just so thoughtful, all of the things in here. A lot of the people there were stitchers. So it had a needle, threader, and something else. What's this thing? Um, a seam ripper. See? Get decorative masking tape to put on your suitcases. Call signs, sparkles, and foxtrot. That's right. They gave us call signs. That's right. <clears throat> they have crew on there. See? I wondered about that. I didn't know if we could... Rochelle, I did. I've put some on my old suitcases because I haven't had a new suitcase in 30 years. Um, but I didn't want to put it on the new handles. But look at this. These scissors with, um, oh, that has an airplane on it. That one has an airplane on it. And then some rainbow scissors. And then uh, this kind of cutter too. So we found one. They found one cutter at the very end nail, you know, a nail file and stuff. It was really sweet of them to do. So that was just another um, retreat goer, two of them together. Wrap a bright bandana. That's what we bought, Mary. We went to Walmart. Me, I got Jerry an orange one and me a rainbow one to put on there. Cover the flight crew tag with decorative tape. There you go. We could do that, right? I could do that. No scissors. Now, Olivia, I've been told that I can have small scissors. Can't I have small scissors on the flight? I was told that because I need those in my craft bag. Not, I wouldn't take these, even though they said technically those would go because they're just a little too big. But those little bitties, don't we, like this? Where is that? Oh, well, that, that I don't think, I think that could go, but that might be too tiny. Look at that little bitty thing. That's for like doing threads or something. They're so tiny. But these, something like this, that's what I was thinking of. Doing. You can't have small scissors. I've flown with the scissors that fold up. Oh, no scissors at all. Tammy, the pink scissors can go. Not these. See, I wouldn't want them to take these. Right. So I don't, I mean, I'd like to have them in my bag, but you're saying take these. <gasps> they took yours away, Tammy. Ah. So you think the pink ones can go, Rochelle? Maybe I'll take the green ones because obviously I like them a little less than the pink ones. I have a little, a little um, green one. So you think those can go and that's it? That don't cut much. Cheryl says she's never had a problem. I wonder if it depends on the airline. See, Berta says I can fly with those. The fold on snap on tool kind. Scissors are fine up to a certain size blade. You have to check the specifics with the airplane. They will take them for sure. I bought the fold up ones. Huh. Keep in your craft supplies. So I have to figure out how I'm going to take toiletries too because I fly with the larger one. There you go. Berta flies with that. Uh, Berta's correct. Maybe they've gotten lax since you've been, Tammy, or do, are you saying they've done, done that lately? <clears throat> okay, so we got home, traveled through the night. We got home really early. Don't hit yourself, Tina, when you're talking. Okay, and then um, 
we of course we come home we got home earlier than expected because we told him we would be home on thursday and theoretically we were but it was at 4 50 in the morning and all the dishes weren't done and whatever it was so tired we just went to bed um my opinion take the smallest on the flight pack the others put them in your regular suitcase check the toiletries put the green one in the bag for the flight pack your other ones ah uh, maybe it's my airport okay good idea y'all just to be safe but um and we knew there was a lot to do. My Again, the packages were stacked. I'm seriously, they were probably stacked this high because there were some big boxes. I got my Craftably order in that I had ordered before I left. All the Amazon stuff came in. Uh, <clears throat> well, okay. TSA says under four inches. Okay, thank you. So, I've, so remember, on Sunday night, my son's car went out. He borrowed our truck. He went and they found a minivan at this place. Well, he called us on Monday and said, uh, Mom, we've been borrowing your truck. Hope that's okay. Um, ours went out and we found a minivan over at Righteous Rides, it's called. And they have an extra one. Are you still looking? And do you want me to leave a deposit on it? I said, please leave a deposit on it. I don't have time to look when I come home. I don't know what to do. Yes, it is sad about craftably in it, Janet. I forgot about that. Because when I used to cross stitch, I carried little scissors all the time. Playing with my tweezers and all my DP tools and worked on the plane. Yay, Jeannie. That's what I'm hoping. So they're closing. So any of you that haven't heard, Craftably announced today that they're closing. Um, so they have what's left on their site. If you want any of those. And there's some good ones I ordered before I left. I ordered seven new ones. Uh, so they have some good ones. Um, they are closing. And if you want any of those, you need to grab them now because they're not going to have any more. Okay. And um, Michael and Amy have decided to focus on uh, their health and their family. And this endeavor is over for them. And it is sad. And I hate it that for them. But at the same time, um, it's time to move on for them. So I, we did try. And they held on for another year. And I think it, I think it was better than a year ago. Um, but um, for health reasons, and I told them, that's not a failure. You've just tried something. Now you get to try something else. You're just adventurous and we all love you and you are no less of a person. How many of us have tried things and it didn't work out, right? And we just try something different. It's okay, right? Mental health is more important. That's right. Um, no, well, there is something on there today, Natalie. Oh, Natalie, are you, are you international? Because they quit shipping internationally. They turned it off last night. Gotcha. So that's right. Nothing for international. Anyway. So yes, my, those were in. So we came home to that huge stack. Uh, and I told my son to put a hundred dollar deposit down. The hundred dollar deposit holds the car for a week. So they called yesterday, said, Hey, you're coming in. I said, yes. When you close tomorrow. So they told us, um, Whatever time it was, four o'clock, they were going to close the day. I said, okay, we're going to try to get there by three. Oh, that's why I told her that. <laughs> when she called today, I said, we might be at 3.30. But in their discussions last night, uh, order two last night, yay, already shipped. Yeah, that explains it then. That's right. So in our discussions last night, we're talking about having to buy um, a, a car and with, again, with all the added expenses of, remember the twenty, the truck was twenty two hundred dollars, the hot water heater was fifteen hundred, the tickets were seventeen hundred. Um, our account was low, really last night, really low, but not overdrawn. And my one of my sons came in and goes, well, why do you have to buy it? Why not Serenity buy it? She's twenty one. She has the money for a car. And you're buying it also for her to use. Why don't she buy it? And I said, you know, Rennie, that's true. Um, and she uh, she had been wanting to put it off because she's trying to save her money in order to maybe buy a place one day, whatever. But at the same time, she started thinking about it. And she has already we already started making to pay insurance on the cars last December. Because it got to remember, it got too costly. Remember, it was like. Five or six thousand dollars. Um, so they had to start helping. So she decided she was going to get it. <clears throat> Serenity is twenty-one, <laughs> and she'll be twenty-two in July. And so she decided. I said, "Honey, you know what? You'd have a car at your disposal at all time. No one else could junk up your car. No one else can wreck your car but you. 
it would all be yours. Yes, you would have to pay insurance, but you're already paying insurance. And yes, you'd have to pay tax, but it would be your car and nobody else would drive your car unless you let them. So she decided to do that, which really helped us. It really helped us. So what we're probably going to do, although I have not confirmed this completely with Jay Paul, we are probably going to give Jedediah the car that he uh, drove off the road. <clears throat> oh, I didn't tell you about that. But anyway, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And Serenity bought a new car today. So I guess before today, we'll go to yesterday. Jay Paul was still off yesterday because we weren't supposed to get home till yesterday. So he decided <clears throat> the hot water heater got delivered yesterday because he had called before we left and ordered it. So it got delivered yesterday. And then he called the tow truck and he went and met the tow truck, forgot the keys, had to come home to get the keys. Like I said, there's so many things. Got back to the car, had the keys. Yay. Good for you, um, Olivia. Bought a new car and I'm training it in already in 2026 for a new car. Oh my. And, um, uh, let's see. So they met the tow truck guy and forgot the keys, came back, went back, got it and got a spare tire. So my son, Benjamin had a, a 2006 Toyota Sienna that went out on him. And so he left it here instead of donating it to righteous rise in case we needed it for parts on our 2005, uh, Sienna that was in the guy's yard. So it's here where they came back, got the tire, went over there and they, <clears throat> they got it out, put the tire on, went, you know, jacked it up with two by sixes and blah, 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 got it out. And it was drivable and Jedediah drove it to the service station. Now it was wobbly. It'll minimum need an alignment minimum. If we get off with that, he is going to be so lucky because I don't know how that can only be that. There's these huge ruts in the guy's yard and Jerry had to go. So they went to get the service station. They went to go buy the guy some grass. So that's all. We're done with them. He has the post and the mailbox and grass seed. So we're done with there. I have a Benjamin too. Yes, Janet, it is. Because I don't have high miles because I have to drive three towns over every day for work. Gotcha. Can't afford a card. I'm so homebound. Gotcha, Susan. Um, so, so that's dropped off there. That was yesterday. And Jerry started getting the uh, hot water heater downstairs. And then today we left and took Serenity to town. We took her to the bank. We got him cashier's check. We took her to the car. And sure enough, we drove the car. We liked the car. Benjamin said he had test driven it for us. And we signed the papers, went straight to the county assessor's office. We got her waiver for something or other. I don't know why I have to do that. You know why I have to do that? I don't know why. But you got the waiver at the county assessor's office, whatever. And then we take it to DMV. And by then, I have never seen that DMV that full. What is today? It's a Friday. There was standing room only in that DMV. And I only had two cars. Now, yes, I accidentally wore my computer glasses in the car. Okay, Cheryl G, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I did not have my car glasses in the car. I get it. I know. I left them. I know. I just forgot. I get in the car because I can see up close. I can see this far. And then I get in the car and I look up and I'm like, I forgot my glasses. But I did. And I said, so Cheryl G just ordered three more from Craftably. What did J-Paul do on the trip? I hope he relaxed with all the stuff he has to do now. I don't know if it was relaxing for him, but he focused on the business and I got a lot of done and I'm about to show you what he got done. So, uh, what are we doing? Where are we at? So I left them. I said, look, I need to go by Dollar Tree. I need to look for more boxes or Dollar General. By the way, there were no boxes there, um, for sets. We want to make more sets, but there weren't any. And I said, I want to go by Dollar General. I need to go get some groceries at Walmart. Let me go. So I did drive around in my computer glasses today and I didn't wreck. We made it home safely. And they got their, oh, and Jay Paul had lost a tag to his trailer when he went to go pick up something. I can't remember if it was somebody's car broke down. Didn't we have another car broke down? Yes. Yes. It was, uh, remember John's. John's back in January when he wrecked his car. We had to go get the trailer to haul it. And the tag fell off the trailer. Okay. I don't know why, but whatever. Fell off the trailer and Jay Paul realized that. So today he got a new tag for the trailer. Serenity got her car. It's in her name. All that stuff. I'll be start checking my dollar general waiver to not pay personal property taxes first year, March 1st. So everyone who was late for February was in the office today. Oh, March 1st. So everyone's late. For February. Okay. Well, it was full standing room only. And it's a waiver to not pay personal property taxes. Exactly. So we did all of that today. All while still not having my phone. Yes, the phone was here yesterday, but we couldn't get it done. You want to know why? Because it's a business phone and we called the people 
And they walk Jerry through, I don't know how long he's on the phone, probably at least an hour and see the bottom half of my screen. You cannot see. Well, all the, the stuff you need to press is all down here. So she goes, I'm sorry, I've tried the best I can. You're going to have to call Verizon tomorrow. So today, he spent at least an hour on the phone today with Verizon Business. And they also tried to walk him through the setup of the phone without this. He did finally get into the phone, the new phone, which is an upgraded phone. So none of my, my case don't fit. But guess what? To transfer the data over, you have to be able to connect both phones. Well, we fooled around with it enough. And we press the right buttons down here enough. I finally supposedly got the data from this phone to that phone today while we were going to get the car today. Yeah. So anyway, it's been a long, long week, long week. Got a lot done on my painting. I'm on my last row. I, I worked on it for very many hours in the car as well. I got another section or two finished. So that was good. But it is not quite done. So y'all seen some of my new friends we found at, these were at Walgreens. These were at Walgreens. And I think I seen them at Cracker Barrel. Because yes, we stopped at a Cracker Barrel on the way home because we need to go to the bathroom. And why not stop at Cracker Barrel to go to the bathroom? So yeah, we did that. So all of these are little Easter guys that are a little bit ex extra because they have little cute little patterns on them. Um, oh, Jeannie, now that you asked, that's the next thing on my list. Let's go to it and see what we have. Let's go to the overhead because I'm going to show y'all some things. There's still so much to show y'all. There's still so much. Look at this, what Cheryl got. Um, we found this at Five Below. Ain't that the cutest? There wasn't, there was only two. There wasn't another one for Berta, but I did get Berta a little Bigfoot. Can you have a little Bigfoot? I don't know, but we did. We got her a little Bigfoot. That's what we did. Buckies. Well, there was no Buckies on our way. And did you ask me if I needed them? Tina, did you get car sick? No, I don't get car sick. I don't. I was reading that sweet little mind. That's right. Um, there's some other things I got. I don't know if I have time to show you all, but I am showing you these because it reminded me. Y'all, who knows this? Got another question for y'all. Who knows this? I found these diamond painting items at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, folks. This is from Craft Buddy. This says Crystal Art Buddies. I don't know why it says Crystal Art. Because it ain't crystal. So I don't know why they're calling it Crystal Art. But it is diamond painting. Look at that. And these were 25% off. And this, it says Crystal Art Scroll Kit. It comes with the wooden part on it. Look at that. I guess that, is that partial? I don't think it's partial. It's pre-mounted with wooden hangers. So, oh, at this store, the Squishmallows I got were those little egg things. I got more of the little egg things at this store, Cheryl. That's what I got at this store. Those little, you know, mystery ones. What DPs did you get from Amazon? Oh, Sherry. Is anybody out there? Can y'all hear me? If so, you can bring me my little Amazon paintings on the floor. I forgot to bring them. There's so much stuff. We'll go to the overhead real quick. Let's, see, let's, see. let's go to the overhead real quick. j Paul done installed something to my computer. I don't know what that button is down there, but uh, he worked all week long on this. Let's go to the overhead and show y'all some things. So, <clears throat> oh, this is what we're going to do giveaway for tonight. We're going to have some of uh, floral Easter bunnies from Crafts with Crashly. These are her 2.0. So these are the newest version of Easter bunny papers. And so we're going to have a winner tonight get some release papers from Crashly. That's hashtag owl. So guess what, Jeannie? What what does y'all's guess on what it might be? Uh, oh, hey, Tanya. You bring that. Let's see. I knew that would bring you out. What would? Oh, Craft Buddy. 
Okay. Craft Buddy refers to all theirs as crystal art. I wondered if it's a UK thing. Another pen, uh, colored pencil because I have more and because they're cute. A Mary Mud Peaches and Cream. I don't even know if she's still selling this over there. I don't think she is on Etsy because she had a baby in December. If, um, But she was on Etsy. And why not throw in a little craft cutter? Looky here. And it had to be a bunny to match the release papers, right? So this is one of the Amazon finds that came in. And I'm going to throw one of those in as well. Because I can. And it's fun. It's fun, fun, fun. Okay. Oh, look. It even has a clip there. That's cute. That's cute. Okay. So that's hashtag owl for tonight's giveaway. And why might you say that I did hashtag owl? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because our little minders for this month are going to be little bitty owls. What do you think, folks? We're going to do little bitty owls. They were so cute, and these can, are going to be your cover minders for the month. So anybody who places an order of 25 or more after the discount of Shine Bright 10, you get a free cover minder if and only if you put owl in the comments of your order. Why, you say? Because Serenity has no idea who's watching or not watching, and these are only for you lovely folks. For you lovely people who are watching me on my lives, you get to know the uh, secret word. That's right. And this month is Owl. And of course, as we, um, as people claim them, then we'll be printing more and they will probably come. They may be in different colors, but right now we printed them in those. So that's what they're going to be. Well, hey, March, right? March in green. So Owl is the word for tonight because of Owl. Shine bright. 10 is the code for all year long, folks, all year long. That is now a pin post in the group. Oh, yeah, don't don't let me forget. I got a giveaway, our, our um, finished post giveaway. 85 folks entered this month. So here we are. Here's the new drills. I know it's not a lot. <laughs> I had to pull teeth to get these done, folks. And it was hard because they did the pictures after we got home from getting the car and posted them afterwards. Gideon's going to start learning how to take pictures for Serenity. We got two glitters, the 415 glitter. And I don't know if Carly watches watching me tonight, but there it is, Carly, for you. I know we said to put that on your painting. And a glitter, round glitter, 3844. That's an odd number. I don't know how I picked that one, but there you go. Guess because it's pretty. So those two are were finally delivered. And then a round and square of jelly, AB, and glow. So these are Jelly, AB, and Glow. And the reason these are being released now so randomly is because they are going to be used on an upcoming uh, upcoming ESs. One of them is Everest. And these PS, P4S, these are all plain in colors we've already used on Everest. And therefore, they need to be released so we can let that go. I love this and have to place another order. I need to get diamonds for the kit I'm doing for the Dakota-thon. That's right. We have a ton of Dakotas to choose from. Are you going to do an enhancement kit for Lady Leprechaun? Marsha, so glad you asked. I did purchase that while we were gone, but Cheryl's probably not going to be able to come over this month unless it's at the end of the month. So it all depends on how things go with Josiah and how that turns out there and to see if um, we actually have a free day at the end of the month or beginning of April. No idea for your, oh, I have a new idea for your Jerry Majiggers. Put magnets on the back and they could be Jerry Jiggers 2.0. <laughs> we could, or uh, you can do that too. Just use E6000 glue with the neodymium, how you say a magnet. And that's all we would be doing and is just gluing magnets on it. The only thing about the magnets is it will pull it up off the kit. And therefore, to me, it, it might be something you could put a tray on, but the whole point of it was to make lines on, on for straight edge, right? It was for straight edge. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Ugh. We had some um, other Dazzle decks that we had printed and even Serenity had taken pictures of. But, folks, I did not get a chance to list those. List those. And these are going to be some new colors when we get them listed maybe next week. So these are the red. Who was it that asked for red? Was it Diamond King? Have you started He is Risen? Yes, we've done He is Risen. If you have magnets on them, you cannot use it as straight as right. 
the jiggers need to lay flat. Were you able to get shiny red? There you go, Diamond King, right here. Shiny red, they're just not listed yet because they just got back. But we have them for you, and I can put it on the to-do list to make sure they're done at least by next Friday, okay? So we got the, the red, and we printed them just for you. Uh, the German jiggers need to be thinner. My multiplacer did not want to work near them. Oh, really? Thinner? Thinner like... I don't know if they'd be thinner. They'd probably be breakable if they were much thinner than this. And I don't think we could have the names in them so much if they were much thinner. Do anybody else have problems? Okay, Cheryl. So, Cheryl, you were having the same problems? I totally think magnets on the jigger. I work on a drafted tilt table and they fall down. Put magnets on them. Then wait. I put magnets on them, then took them off, says Janet. Um, able to use Ellen was able to use a multiplacer with them. Uh, need enhancements for he is risen. Yep, we'll get that. We it was it had some new product in it that we have to release, and I don't remember what it was. Cheryl does know. I'm in the process of typing in my credit card order for the Satur enhancements, but I seen on Facebook posts about March's enhancements containing dragon spirit. So started. I'm noticing my placers rubbing up against them. With them being so thick. Gotcha. Go in at an angle. Wanda had no problem. Sherry says go in at an angle. Don't do many squares. But can you explain? Yes. They just line up on the painting. You put them right there on the adhesive part. Is where I do mine. And then you just place. Now I single place. That's all I do. And I just put. That creates those two straight edges. On your square painting. Um, it may not be possible. I will single place near the edge. There you go. And it just makes your lines straight. So they make easy edges on them. That's what they do. So we did get the red for you. We had that ready before we left. Uh, and those are the new things for tonight. Those beautiful glitters and glows. We do need, let me show you. Oh, here's my pens from Pashi. Again, remember, Nicole is in Pennsylvania. She has a Facebook group, Pashi Pens. And they are generally... You put in there. She was also a sponsor again for Ticket to Ride. So I got mine. I will have to try sideways idea. I use it on rounds too, said Sherry. Yep, or single place around them. Try to do it at an angle. I may be placing it too tight against the edge. Maybe, Jeannie. Just pull it back just a little bit. Um, little lollipop for the grandkids. Yep. Put, put it back a little bit because if you have your placer there, maybe it'll go just right then. These are for square and round paintings. That's right. Sorry. That Milo was calling my name. <clears throat> Special week this week on her ticket to ride. Oh, good, Cheryl. Using the jiggers with the round piece. Nice. Look at here, folks. So I did get this lovely glitter rainbow. And it's another palm one. Now, I, I won't leave this here, I'm sure. Because I, I would have loved that this week. Because I could have held it this way or again without that. Again, not touching that side. This is going to be great because there comes a time when my fingers get so, so tired. I have to do that. But I, I don't think I would leave this here because that's going to bother my finger probably. But other than that, isn't that cool? So that shape um, I think will do very well when my hand gets tired. There you go. You can see the pretty colors there. Yes, Danielle, thank you so much. By the way, um, Danielle was instrumental in helping me get that from Nicole, but I also won this one. Look at here. Isn't this one beautiful? Sparkly rainbow. Beautiful, beautiful. Pashi. Yes, it's a Pashi. A Pashi pen. Thank you, Kel, for the link. So this one is on the thinner side, and I need thinner. And again, anything that I start pressing too hard. So I, I start holding it different ways at first <laughs> because my this finger starts getting, this finger and this finger start getting tired. Got my pen this morning from O'Brien. Gotcha, Wanda. I don't think I've had an O'Brien pen unless I bought one secondhand from folks, which is possible. Actually, I think I have because last year we traded pens with folks at the retreat. And I think one was an O'Brien. So I got that from Pashi. That was um, very sweet. And Danielle, I appreciate 
that so much. Uh, again, I want to reiterate these pens by Cheryl. She special printed these. Look, this was the one she had before, her short one or her mini, but I asked her to make a skinny mini and make it smooth because everything I had was bumpy. And that one does work. As a matter of fact, you talk about not weigh anything. This one doesn't weigh anything. So this is this really didn't weigh anything. It did not hurt my fingers um, at all. The, the pen from Sue Bell was turned by O'Brien. Oh, it was? I didn't know that. I thought it was turned by somebody in Canada. Or maybe just the writing pen was. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, Sue. I don't remember. Um, is Carissa here? Hi, Carissa. They have finger protectors on Amazon. I know. I have all of them, too. I have them all, Marsha. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, the DP pen you're saying, it, this the other one was turned by O'Brien. Cool. You know, Amelia, I need to get a pen from Leopard Leatherworks, too. I just need to figure out if that's in the Facebook group or how that works, because I do need to do that. And I am not trying to avoid <laughs> carry over there. Um, I've just been super duper busy. Correct. The writing pen was Canada. Ah, so the writing pen was Canada and the other was O'Brien. Now I see this one that Sue gave me, she said, was turned by O'Brien. There you go. Mine glows in the dark and is very light. Hardly feels like I'm holding anything. Cool. So those are the pens from Sue. Now this pen here is from KNS <clears throat> Custom DP Pens on Etsy. She's out of Illinois. Her name is Carrie, and what she does is she takes these um, pick-me-up pens. I got a Rainmaker pen the other day. It's awesome. Hey, you, Marcia. Facebook group for Leather Works. Yes, I want to find someone who makes custom tweezers, single placing. All this bling with tweezers kills my hand. Um, have you used those reverse grip tweezers, Elizabeth? And I know that Donna Bass makes custom tweezers. Okay. But look here. Oh, my gosh. It's the first time I've seen that. DPwithsparklers.com. That is so cute. And Tmall. So this reminded me of the ocean when I saw this. And so I got one that looked like the ocean. Anyway, there you go. And what these, so the pick-me-up pens come filled with putty. And she puts resin around these. Isn't that nice? She puts resin around these. And you pull this out and you put wax or putty in that and feed it through there. And she glues these tips on. She takes the putty out and glues the tips on. And then it's continuous feed. And you can put a multi-placer or straightener on this end. And um, a, it's obviously a single placer on that end. So that's KNS Custom DP Pens over on Etsy. Tell her team I'll send you. <sighs> hey, you doing, Angelina? We talked to my son tonight. He finally got his clinic to email the Fisher House, and I do not know where it's going to go from here, but at least the first step was done. Now I need him to sign the other papers <laughs> so we can uh, talk to people. And I bought a craft bag to bring. Don't let me forget, folks. I still got a draw tonight, okay? For the uh, finished giveaway post. Okay, I picked up a few things along the way home. Here's a rainbow tie dye Oklahoma sticker. And uh, I found this super solid squish, neato nice cube. Let's see what this is. Thank you, Kel. You're way over your 100 limits. Hey, 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 hey. I've been giving a lot of them away. Hey, enough of that. Enough of that. Who's counting? Post our finish. Yes, Barbara, every single month you can. So if you finish one today, post it today. You get one finished post allowed a month, okay? Just once. But, yep, you can. Each month there's a, there's a, a post in there. So let's see. This is solid super. Ooh. Ooh, that feels good. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if it will go back to its shape. We'll see if that'll go back. And that Walmart also had this world's smallest classic mini toys. It was only one. This was the only one they had. I've never seen these before either. The February is closed, but March is open. Yes, if that's what you were asking. You can't post it for 
February, but you can post it in March now. Oh, looky there. This was, it could have been any of these, any of these little bitty things. See those? Any of these little bitty things? And I got a little bitty uh, Nido, the groovy glob. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't let the grandkids play with this one. They're so cute. Um, it's okay, Susan. You can. You are welcome to put it in March. Oh, look at this. Look, it's a baby one. It is. There's. It's a baby one. So cute. All right, I got a baby one. I got to put it on my shelf because it's so cute. Look, look at there. It says Nito on it. Okay, I got to keep that away from the grandbabies. Look at that. That's so cute. Let me turn it where I can say it. Um, thanks, Marsha. Is there a link for KNS? Did anybody post a link, ladies, for the um the KNS on Etsy? The carry shop. KNS, whatever I said, custom DP pens over on Etsy. Sometimes she'll close the shop, but it's not for good. It's just to catch up on her orders and then she reopens it. So if it happens to be closed, she's just catching up on orders or taking a break. She'll be back. So don't, no worries about that. Let me put up my Nido ball. That's so cute. I'm so glad I got that one. Let me show you what j has been working on here. Ooh, I guess it kind of went back, didn't it? Went back to square. Boy, that thing's kind of sticky and very, very heavy. See, it's heavy. It's like it's like liquid sugar or something. I like this one so much. Yes, I do. Okay. I forgot to show y'all another one of uh, our sponsors was Lealoha, the Mermaid Cavern. And I bought this lovely resin tray. About this pretty resin tray from her and I've been using it to catch some of my stuff I got that in before I left and I just forgot to show y'all so that's from the mermaid cavern and oh Berta and Cheryl gee guess what thank you KNS on Etsy very good and a Facebook where do you find the square one Jeannie that was at Walmart and you know what I have never seen it in another Walmart this little weird Walmart and I say weird because it was next door to this gas station and I'm like hey Jerry can we look for these cords we were looking for these cords all all day traveling home these cords that have three different uh, connections they have a C a micro and lightning connection and we had gotten one at the gas station last year we've used it in our car ever since and jerry got it out of the car to use it at the retreat and berta loved it and so we started looking at every gas station and of course that's another one of our amazon shopping things that we went but we found the tech 361 it was at qt our very last stop we'd stopped it like i don't know maybe six places and we went to um i think it was qt it better be qt yeah because we went to road ranger and loves we went everywhere and at the very last stop at like one in the morning, one thirty in the morning, we found these and we got two more. So they had those there, but they were $12.99 each. And I think on Amazon, the Amazon ones did come in. See, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's huge. These are 10 foot each. You get two 10 foot cords from Amazon and these were six and a half foot. For twelve ninety nine, this is fourteen ninety nine or something like that for two cords. So it's a better buy on Amazon. But um, anyway, we got it while we were there. Squirrel, there you go, there you go. It's at QT Mermaid Cavern is next next week's meet and greet sponsor at Ticket to Ride. Says Cheryl. Okay, there you go. All righty. So we found those on QT Tech thirty six one. But let's see what J Paul was working on oh oh when we bought that van remember it's at that um organization that helps missionaries and provides cars for missionaries when they're at home on furlough the lady gave us a book to read it's called wings of victory and she had written it it said mental illness and our walk with jesus but anyway i was very grateful she gave it to me my son didn't get one um there she is that's the lady that helped Serenity um, fill out all the forms for her car today and Benjamin on Tuesday. 
And so she gave us a book to read. And I'm like, that's perfect timing. I will probably be bringing that with me. So I'll bring that with me. Um, did you say the mermaid cavern for the oval sparkly trays? I did, Susan. That, this tray here was from mermaid cavern. So she had to get more resin and whatnot, but she got it poured and I got mine in and it's nice. Okay, here we go, folks. Here we go. This is what Jay Paul was working on. Let's see if I can open this. Ta-da! Y'all, Jay Paul was busy, 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 busy because every single one of these are now bundled on the site. Um, you still need to find some uh, cords, Cheryl. Uh, QT. Look at QT. Always and Forever is on the site, and that has all the fancy dots on it. Color Explosion is now bundled on the site. Remember, folks, you don't got to buy the bundles. Bundles do not accept the coupon code. You can buy, you can go here on the back and just add each of those items, nine items separately, and then you would have, you can use the coupon code. But if you want convenience and for it to come with you in a little baggie, then you can uh, buy the bundle. Also, these instructions do not come with the bundles, okay? They don't. You have to uh, print them yourself, okay? And that's what the other thing Jay Paul was working on, um, along with Cheryl and Berta. She, they each, and Berta had a lot of good information um, on, a lot of good input on what to do for the site. And so we've made a new page, Enhancement Suggestions Only page. Yes, you can still find them on the FAQ page, but we've made an Enhancement Suggestions Only page that is a printable version, yes. and We've tried to make it very apparent that if you buy a bundle, that these will not come printed in the bundle. Okay. Eternal Love. Desert Bloom Dreamcatcher. This is the round version. Pay attention to what version you have. I thought, um, though they make the square the same, we would just have, you would just have to buy that stuff in squares. Did you, um, let's see. Unicorn Girl. Pine Tree Haven by Bella Art Diamonds. Fuchsia Hummingbird. Christmas Owl. Again, J. Paul is very, very busy. Blueberry Fairy. And these are now live on the site. Blueberry Fairy. Kara was working on this one. And it is gorgeous. When you bling it out with all of these sparklers, it is beautiful. She was doing this one at the site. 12 Days of Christmas by Hannah Lynn. And I guess if I guess you've all heard we the, the Diamond Art Club will no longer be carrying any Hannah Lynn. Uh, got a new one from Dreamer Design. Clouded Yin Yang by Dreamer Designs. Plan of Salvation by JoJo's Art. Satura. Margaret Morales. Beachcomber's Bounty is finally bundled, folks. That was a big one. That's going to be a little bit harder to shop because there's 25 items there. So that one button won't save you money, but it'll save you time. So it depends on which one you want to save. There's the square version. Round and square version. There you go. I have found the one. Another Dreamer Designs. There we go. We'll do our drawings here in a little bit. Lovebird Lodge. A uh, Lorenz. That was fun. That's a big one. Here's another Dakota. Majesty. Majesty is ready in time for the Dakota Thon. Penguin Love by Francesca Studio Works. We try we are trying to hit other small companies and different companies as well as Diamond Art Club um, and Dreamer Designs. Threads of the Universe. We're trying, but we can only do so many at a time. Together we are magic. Jody Bergsma is one of our favorite artists. Not everything, but we love her. No more Hannah Lynn. I know, Roslyn, right. Spirits, another Dakota. Thank you, Berta, for lending that canvas to us. We return that canvas to her. Leo, that's another canvas that uh, Berta lent to us so that we could do these enhancement suggestions. Huh, look at that one. That one's got a fingerprint on it. I guess if we ran some testing on that right there, my guess 
is that is like a Cheetos or some sort of a Fritos chip snack with Jay Paul's thumbprint right there in the middle. That's my guess because he was snacking while he was working. All right, Wild and Precious, another Jody Bergsma. Can't wait to do my Lovebird Lodge. Ren got my enhancements out to me so fast. Yay, Brandy, she's trying now. Aura Loa has Hannah Lynn. How about that, Heather? Three Kings Nativity Scene. Scorpio. Another Berta borrowed one. Lighthouse in the Night. Cheryl was working on this, and it is gorgeous. The water and waves look like real waves. It is beautiful. So she's working on that one. Libra. Man, did I have that one or Berta? How many do we borrow from Berta? A lot. Surreal Blues. Are y'all seeing how much J. Paul's been doing? Yeah, he was pretty behind. Snow Castle. Randall Spangler one. Sagittarius. Jody has retired from doing art. I know, Janet, I know, but I'm so glad that these folks are still putting out her paintings. I thought that meant no one would ever do it. Rainbow Dragon by Dreamer Designs, bundled and ready to go. Penguin Harmony. We're near the end, folks. It really is. Do you like all the close-ups on some of the enhancement suggestions? Do they help? Says so Cheryl. I'll show you one in a minute. Christmas Eve at the workshop. Another Dakota. And Breathe Your Name. Okay. So one of the close-ups she's talking about is see how we take pictures of this and she inserts them there. Do y'all like when we do that? Does that help y'all um, to show how to place like the fancy dots? For example, or Lovebird Lodge, let's see, is another one. Oh, here's one. Ketner. Yeah, right, Wanda? He was working. He really did work. He got to sleep. He'd take naps too, but he worked. So we we're showing you there how to do the quad cubes before and after because sometimes it the color is not necessarily four spaces see it's threes and twos and threes but we're showing you what we would do in those places see so does that help you yes it helps super helpful and then again love bird lodge had one i guess they were in alphabetical order I, oh look at this one look at the beachcombers bounty that dragonfly is quite special there, folks. Look at that. And then, of course, the um, in the water are the quad cubes. And uh, that dragonfly right there, he's special. <clears throat> okay, so Starflake says, yep, especially for a newbie like her. Oh, Hannah Lynn's going to Dreamers, too. Okay, so they'll, she'll still be around. That's good. Perfect example of how to use them uh, when not the same colors. And then on this window on Lovebird Lodge, that window right there. Um, we're going to use slivers. So we were showing y'all how to do those for that window. Don't have one of those canvases, Susan. Do you have one of the, um, there's over 150 now on the site. Do you have one of those? So there you go. That's what J. Paul was working on. And I bought this whole box and we had printed out, you know, Cheryl got in all the um, checkoff lists. Y'all remember all these checkoff lists? So I got all of mine. Um, and the page protectors and a folder on the way down, you know, and got the uh, plane tickets booked. And so I was just working business stuff on the way down um, and didn't get to diamond paint. I, I, I take that back. I didn't diamond paint, but I did get to kit up. I kitted up the little stained glass flowers we have from Amazon, the small one. I did kit that up. Anybody have threads of the universe you want to sell me? Oh, you can't find one yet. Have you, have you searched yet, April, in the... Um, D stash group. Guess you should have gone to the D stash group. That's fine. You can ask. It's, it's no big deal. But yeah, I'd, I'd uh, I would definitely look in there and see what you find. This thing's still a square, I guess. Any plans to do enhancements for the newer deck kits released on Amazon? Of course, Emily. We'll get to do those. Those give us a little break, just like diamond painting. They give us a little break in between. Um, you know. <clears throat> the big canvases. I got some new friends. This one came in and he has a fuzzy belly. So he wanted he wanted some more family. So we're gonna give him some more family. And then let me explain this guy, okay? 
So I was researching last month about tags and what they meant on the Squishmallows. And they said that there's some that are called check-in series that you can only get at certain places. And this is called Cedar Point, which is kind of like a Six Flags, like a family park. Uh, Jerry, can you hand me those Amazon kits down there? I'll show them. Uh, that's right, Emily. I'm going to Amazon for the... <laughs> and anyway, so I went to their online store. And they allowed me to buy right from the store. I didn't have to go to their park. And they had a tie-dye one. So guess what? I have one check-in series from Squishmallows. And it even has a little patch back here on the bootay. So now I got one of those check-in series. Thank you, honey bunny. All of them. One at a time. Yes, sir, like this. This will be good. They want to know what we got. We got watercolor butterfly. That one's round. Isn't that pretty? We got eagle with American flag, also round. We have fairy bunny on the list. Yes. Bold flowers, round. Violet persuasion. This one's a little bigger, 32 by 52. But look at those rainbow colors. Nice. So this one is, uh, you know, smaller medium kit right there. Okay, let's trade. Thank you, J-Paw. Here's these. All righty. We got austere. Also round. Beautiful owl, right? I knew you'd get the butterfly ones, Jeannie. <laughs> I got more than she did. I think there were 20 new ones, maybe. She did get more than I did. This one is a blue and gold ornate cross. So most, it looks like most are round. Here's one, Sophia. By Dragons and Beasties, the ones that we have the um, magnets from, let you know, same dragons. That one's a 32 by 47, so not too small. I knew. And Inspiration Peak. I like that. I like those colors. Is this all of them now? Mm -hmm. Cardinal Couple. So, so far, I think they're all around. Cardinal Couple. I love this one. Stained glass mountains, oceans, and sun. I love the colors there. Thank you, honey. Now we're done. Good, that's the last. That's the last. We got bubbles, little kitty cat bubbles, which looked kind of like an ocelot. That's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Sophia must be sold out. Oh, I looked for it earlier. I bought Sophia straight away. She's so cute. Yes, Natalie, right? There's too many rounds. I didn't get any because I prefer squares. Gotcha, Jennifer. But there's still a nice break. Midnight, Manikaniko, I'm going to say it like I mean it, um, by Jeremiah Kettner. I think his are cute. I really like that one. I think they're all around. Cherry Blossom Trees. I didn't get them all. Believe it or not, I didn't. Penson's Red Covered Bridges for sale again on Amazon. Do you still have the bundle for it? Yep, the bundle should still be there. Or the ES if it's not bundled. If it's not bundled, it'd be an ES. And the last one. So it looks like they're all around New Moon. It's also 32 by 50. There you go. New Moon. So those are the kits that I got. Sure got a couple more. I got the Midnight. Menkiniko. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We forgot about that, j Paul. We forgot about the garage door. We got a call another day. I can't remember what day that was. I just don't remember. Might have been Monday, Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. We got another call from the kids. Again, by this time, we don't even want the phone to ring. Um, Jonathan, our oldest son, still uh, still at home. He went to shut the shed door. So we have a you know a garage door on the shed, and he went. It's manual. We he went to pull that down and shut it, and it broke. So it's about a foot off the ground. It will not shut, so critters can get in. But the garage door fixer man that we've always used because we have broken that more than once is not answering his phone. So we think he might have retired because we cannot get someone to fix that. Which reminds me, Jay Paul, what if we just put that on an automated thingy? I don't know. We got it. We still got to fix the door to the 
shed because it's open and we can't close it. And I totally forgot about that one because that was seems so little on our list of all the things that we need to do. I forgot about that one. One of the stained glass oceans. Is it not available, April? Um, all those were on Amazon, Shannon. Every one of them. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Okay. So let me see what else I got. Because we also went shopping because <laughs> Bonnie was doing these cute little ones, kind of like uh, Donna does all the time, the cute little special shapes. She had a packet. I think it's these. So she had a packet of these little special shapes, and she was doing one of these. Okay, I'm going to crinkle real quick. Spirits is not working. That means something sold out of it, I think. Wait, Berta, if you don't have those, don't get that, hun. I'll, ta I'll bring that to you in June. My guy to remind me, but I'll, I'll try to bring that to you in June. So, since you let us borrow that canvas. Okay. If that's not too late. So, this set, look at this. These are, they look like mostly crystals. I'm just going to pull one out here. And big crystals, there is a uh, resin. No, there's some plain drills and crystals and big crystals on these. And I guess it just depends on which ones. Because they have some bigger crystal twos like we're calling our fancy dots. It looks like they have some of those in there. Um, and they were so cute when, when she was doing them. Here's the summer. It's a pack of, I don't know, it looks like 12, but I thought it was nine. Hello, summer. Here's a beach one. This one says hello, summer as well. And... So just a lot of fun things I thought would be fun to do down while I'm in Hawaii. It says it's summertime. She did this one and it was so cute. And Aloha Summer. So I just thought these were fitting to take on my beach down there. It says hello summer. Hello summer. So a lot of them say that, don't they? There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them. So that came in. I'm not sure if Cheryl or Roberta got it, but they were going to get them too. Brandy, these were on Amazon too. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, let me get the link for that real quick. Hold on just a minute. I will go to Amazon and get the link for that. Okay, and orders. And do to do to do do to do to do. Let's go down here. My goodness. I got that um Scotch Guard spray. I'm gonna spray that purse. What do y'all think? I'm going to spray my fabric purse because I know it's white and it's going to get dirty. All righty. Here's the link. Copy and paste. <laughs> yeah. That's what we did. We kept shopping. Diamond payment shopping. <laughs> those are very cute, like paint gems, but bigger and probably cheaper. They're, they're pretty cheap because you get nine of those. Okay. They're not squares. These are just round. Um, and once you start looking at that, then you'll see links to these others probably. I'm guessing. I don't know. I can throw these in there too. I got, I'll show you this four pack I got real quick. Uh, I forgot to put all this in the, in the description. So these are not in the description. These are just over here in the chat. And here's another one. I can't find New Moon from Amazon. Oh, shucks. Maybe they sold out. Okay, so that's one of the sets, the summer set. Good gracious, y'all. We just shopped and shopped. <laughs> See, I might would have got the diamond painting done if we actually diamond painted the whole time and didn't break phones or go shopping. Maybe, maybe. Um, go on a trip with y'all, my kind of peeps. <laughs> Okay, look at here. Berta and Cheryl G. Y'all remember me saying this when we were there that when I was looking at those other things. So these are either stickers or clings. Maybe, oh, they're window clings. I think these are window clings. I think. Let me check. <laughs> I don't even know. Let me go check, see what I got. I'm pretty sure something was window clings because I thought, oh, that's different. I, you know, I have stickers and don't know where to use them. Yep, these are window clings, butterfly window clings, because then. That's the only space in my office that hasn't been used yet is my windows. <laughs> there you go. There's some more. Those are the window clings right there. Um, they have Easter ones. Yep. And the nine piece set. So, um, my gosh, this is 12 pieces. 
I hear you. J. Paul, you out there? Lucy wants out. So this, okay. So this has four. Okay, I'm hoping Daddy comes to the door. I guess he ain't there, y'all. I gotta let Lucy out. Hold on, let me let Lucy out real quick. Sorry about that, folks. I hear you. Oh, Mama's coming. Hold on. Hold your hoes. Hold on. I hear you. Go on. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> She needs to go potty and want it out the door. Oh, goodness. So this so this has four window clings in it. Let's see what that's like. So, yeah, it's sticky here. And then it, I guess it's like a sticker in the fact that it comes off. But, it, oh, well, that says window clean, but that's pretty darn diggy. Hmm. Hmm. That feels more stickerish than a cling. I don't know. I hope they come off the window. But those four, I'm guessing, are this color scheme because that packet, I had, you get 12 when you buy it. Amazon, these come from Amazon. I should just do a video on Amazon haul, right? I got so much stuff. And then these, I'm guessing, this is my guess, are going to have a different color scheme. Some of the bundles not working, but does not show any items out of stock. Okay, Cheryl, let me. Jerry's not with an earshot right now. He's probably trying to get the hot water heater running. Um, and here's this. So I, I'm guessing that these crystals go with this, these. And then the same with that. So it actually, what is pretty cool is that if you wanted to, you could gift some. And there's, in the sets of 12, you could actually probably do three different bundles. Because I'm assuming that these drills are going to go with these. Yep. See the BT349. And that's what these are. So these drills go with that. My husband won't let me you watch us anymore. Because you'll see all these Amazon packages. I know. I love the butterflies and flowers together. I know. I got the desert, ocean, and sun and an Easter bunch of the little guys. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully you enjoy them. So here are those. Oh, I really like those. Nice. So there you go. Those are the DK. Uh, well, they're calling them window clings, y'all. So I don't know. We guess we better read this disclaimer whether or not I should really put them on my window or not. Because <laughs> they seemed a little bit sticky for a cling. Unless they will, you know, come off with a window spray. I love butterflies, too. I do. Hey, Robin. So... There's that set, and then there's this four-piece set. Um, Charity, Jerry, hey Jerry, okay this. So they come bundled in these little zippy bags. Um, they're saying some of the bundles aren't working, honey. Do you have the names of any of the bundles that aren't working, y'all? Hi, Helen. Oh, I wonder if it, if it messed up on the dates. On the dates. Oh, wow. They, they probably should have gone a step up. Uh-oh, because that's not good. Uh, ugh, on the size here. Come on now. Let's roll you out of here. Ugh. That is a nice little bag, but that should not have been in there. How the world did they get that stuff in there? That's going to be like Serenity packing them dang um, uh, organza bags. Good night. Spirits. Spirits isn't working, Jerry, but that's a... a Spirit is not working. Yeah. Okay. So they should not have put that down in there like that. But look, they have, I just love these and I love the big special shapes on these. I like how it mixes the black in there. There's the butterfly. So I think I have more than enough to go in my little craft bag. And this flower one, it was a set of four in this link. And he's checking that. I believe I put the link in there for these. Uh, maybe not. Here's this set of four. Yeah, I think I did. Yep. Two didn't go out. Was Spirits one of them? 
Is it? Oh, the time again. Okay. Yes, making live tonight. My bad. I'm sure I did that wrong. So we're putting the P for S live now. And then this one. I love the black on this one. And that's part of that four piece set. But anyway, so those are those. And I got to choose which ones I want in the craft bag or not and grow from there. So we'll have a lot of little things. Well, by golly, there's a couple more. This one that got framed. Why? I'm not sure. Go check. Looks like you need another little craft bag. Yeah, this ain't going to fit all in that craft bag, right? I got to decide which ones to take. This one. What? This one says wash and wear drill. Well, I, I don't understand that. Shiny diamond painting. Diamonds, diamond sentiment reason. Okay. Okay. Artist diamond painting wash and wear drill. I'm not sure what that means. Wash and wear drill. That's different. Let's see. Let's see. We got to cut. Hey. Hey, don't we have a new cutter here? I have a new cutter. <laughs> oh my gosh, that does not look like that picture. Okay, you see the picture, right? See the picture with the white frame? <laughs> it, man, that is a very thick box. It has a pink frame. So this has a pink frame. And it came, it literally came pre-framed, so you can't take it out of there. But this one happens to have a little wrinkle here. And I don't know if that's going to come out. So I'll have to see. Maybe it will, if that comes out. And that one's pre-framed. I think I like the white. I know I like pink, but I think I like the white better because it set it off better. So that's not quite, quite as shown. And I'm not sure if this is going to lay down well or not. So if this doesn't lay down, I might have to send this one back. And it does have special shape drills in it, though. It has some marquees and teardrops in this one. Yeah, all the kits I do come with frames. I know, Donna, but I think you do your separately. They're not stuck in there, right? Like you could actually work on it and then put it in here in the frame. It doesn't come glued to the frame does it yeah because yours yours are way better i think actually than this quality because that one is not sticking down and i do like white better yep I'm the, i have a feeling as much as i love i love 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 the heart with the flowers i love this picture but i i do like white better but it's this is not going to stick down so i'll probably return this one yeah now i gotta get some uh amazon return huh let's see you do have one that comes mounted but use a blow dryer okay Mike can try that um Donna do all of yours come mounted though they all come pre-mounted this is a very thick box oh shoot I gotta put it back in there okay and then Man, I'm going to have a ton to clean up on this desk tomorrow. And this is the last one. Donna does a ton of these little ones that have frames with it. If you look in the Facebook group under Donna Bird, you will see how hers, um, she has a lot of them. And she blings them out with sparklers and they look really good. Oh, see, this one comes separate. So this is a little butterfly with... Um, flowers and it's crystals with the black is regular with a few big ones two that are mounted right so they're usually like this then right and so here's the frame and see this is better because you just slip it into this frame this is a nice frame and when it's done you would just slip it into there so this one is done better I like it better. I don't, I don't remember the cost on that one. Um, and I've never paid for the frames before because they do cost more. 
Well, this one was $8.99 and mine says 5% off coupon. I don't ever know when I share a link what other people's do, but it says $8.99 uh, on this one, on this little one. There's that little uh, butterfly one. And the other one, well, I don't know where it went. Uh, is that the one? I don't know where the other one went. Or how, let me see if it's up here. Do, 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 do. Nope, can't find you. I don't know where it went. I don't see it right now. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. So the heart one was $12.98. So yeah, that one's definitely going back. That was $12.98. That will probably go back. This one was only $8.99. Okay, so there's all my hauls. Let's do a drawing. For a couple giveaways. All right, let's go back and share some screen. Let's go back here and do the full screen. Oh, that thing followed me over there. Now you see, see, there's there's the whole desk, and here's the other screen I look at right here. And this is all the junk I'm gonna have to clean up in the morning. I'm gonna have to get this little bug back to be looking at me here. All right, bug, get over here. Come here. Right there. Thank you. All right. Now, good to do. I do not use the acrylic protector as the bling gets muted. The video I sent you today do not have the acrylic. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's share my screen. Let's go share the screen because we're going to do some giveaways. Browser Firefox. Let's go over here and we're going to do the first giveaway. Let me make sure y'all can see this. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. There's a little delay between what I see and what you say. Let's see, okay, and come on. Let's mean it works. There we go. It works. Okay, so random.org. This is for the finished posting giveaway in our group. Any month that you have a finish from any event, whatever event you're in, as long as you finish your diamond paying. With some of our bling from uh, that you have purchased from our shop, you are welcome to post in that finished um, post in the group. It's under featured, and it is for a $50 coupon code. That's what it's for, $50 coupon code. We give that away each month for a finished diamond paint, painting or project. It can be a project, a craft project using our bling. Because remember, I've blinged out a sign before. I've blinged out a cup before. So whatever project you are using for that month that you have finished and blinged out, you are allowed to enter once. Okay? So we had 85 entries in the month of February. And that's what we are drawing for right now. And this is for a $50 coupon code. And we're going to get the, we're going to have one of the mods be over in the group and look at who's going to win. And here we go. Uh, and we're going to generate this number 80. So it has to be someone that just recently, let me write that down in my handy dandy book. All right. Number 80 on the finish giveaway in the Facebook group. And that's for $50 code. All right, mods, who is that? I need to do my March calendar, says Marsha. So you're doing that. Thank you, Cheryl K. Thumbs up, folks. If you don't mind, let me do a refresh and see how many thumbs up we got. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. I think she means like under under the video, there's a thumbs up button. So um, it supposedly helps with algorithms and all that good stuff. But anyway, there we go. Helen. Clemens is number 80. I think Helen is there tonight. Helen, are you still with us? Because they said that you won the $50 coupon code for the finish giveaway. And I know you were here earlier, Helen. So, you know what, folks? My gosh, I have been talking for two and a half hours. Let's go ahead and do the giveaway tool for StreamYard 2. We're sharing the screen already. Yes, Helen, you are here. Woohoo! So, Helen, go ahead and email me at dpwithsparklers at gmail.com and uh, just tell me that you won the February finish giveaway for $50. And I'll get that coupon code out to you at some point this weekend. Okay. Congratulations on that entry, number 81. And, uh, or 80, won the drawing. There you go. So, now we're going to do a drawing for the hashtag owl. 
If you haven't put that in, this is your last chance to put in hashtag owl in the comments so you too can be a drawing for a $15 giveaway. So this is going to be the hashtag owl, and this is for $15. And we got um, Crashly Papers, Easter Papers, and Merry Mud, Peach Merry Mud. Um, she did a sea turtle from Diamond Painting Shop with Carolyn Steele. Oh, nice. I love those. I bought all of those because I love Carolyn Steele, another one of my favorite artists. And then a little, my little rabbit knife cutter and a heart pen. Right. All right. So is it going to be you? We're going to see. And my heart pen or pencil, I should say. Let's see which one of you folks are going to win tonight. Let me put this on live chat. There we go. See everybody. Okay. I've got two alarms going off. Please turn off. There you go. Way to go. Okay. 143. Good. So a few of you got yours in at the last minute. And here we go. Drawing for our giveaway tonight. Let's do a drawing. Let's see who's going to win. I don't know if you already see your name. That means you're not going to win. I don't know. It always seems it's going to be that person. And then it's some Danielle won. How about them apples? Danielle, she is our resident, well, one of our resident Canadian watchers here, the admin of Pashi Pens again, where I got those beautiful pens from. I will not even attempt to say your last name because I wouldn't get it right, I'm sure. So, no, I'm sure I would not get that right. Let's see. So congratulations, Danielle. You won. Yay. You won. I'll tell you what, Danielle, since you're international, we're going to make that a $20 coupon code to help you with shipping. Oh, my gosh. I need to tell you all real quick about shipping. We are having lots of issues with packages not getting to their proper destination. As of two days, and when I came home and finished the emails up, I have three Canadian packages. One has gone to Canada and coming back to me. One has been stuck in Georgia for two weeks. Why it went to Georgia, we have no clue, because it went to Chicago, then to Georgia. We don't know. And the other one is just stuck. I can't remember where. But that's three as of today that aren't going there. One of the things we have discovered, and it might be this, is that we had been putting the tape over the label for the last year or so in order to protect the address because we've seen people's come in and been eaten up. So we were trying to protect the address. Well, we had started using Amazon tape instead of Scotch tape. And I don't know if there's a chemical reaction with their labels, but somehow it is making the ink on the label disappear. And we are amazed that the packages are actually getting to the proper places in, for the most part. We do not know if these three from Canada have problems with their labels yet. We're hoping they make their way back to us because we don't know how it got all the way into Canada and then how it's coming back. We don't understand that. But we did get back uh, a package from Africa yesterday, and that has been resent out today. My last two were not stuck any place, but there was no address or name on either one. Woo, see, Wanda, I'm glad it got to you anyway. I don't, I, I'm guessing the barcode had to be readable because that's, the last two orders have barely made it. See, Marsha, we apologize for that. We thought we were doing good for everybody. And they I don't even know how they were making it. And my label was faded. So whatever those two, we think the chemical reaction between whatever those were was making it so faded. Um, yep. Had the address almost totally gone. Last shipment, the label was completely unreadable, but the tracking number Barco was fine. I think they might have gotten to me with the tracking number. That's what I'm thinking. So, yep. Praise God that they are getting to where they are going in general. My last heart, I had a hard time reading it. I know, and I'm sorry. We're changing it now. We're not going to cover them anymore and hope they are still readable and don't get beat up. So we're trying and we're learning along the way. And I think it's because of the new Amazon tape. I think the composition of that tape must be different than Scotch. Heather's had a quick, um, completely rubbed off. Well, because y'all have been tell, sh showing me pictures. They're like, you know, they tried to disappear my name. Every Most of them see fully readable in both. Okay, good. So 
most of them are still making it. A couple have been sent back, and now we know why, <laughs> by Ashley Hine. Uh, feel better, sweetheart, and we'll talk later. Hopefully, I'll have a, a minute this next week to talk in the middle of all this stuff. I've got a headache now myself. So I um, missed you all. I don't know what stories I've forgotten because I forgot them. So if I remember, I'll let you know next time. But yeah, there were so many stories. I couldn't even remember them all. We've had a lot going on. Hopefully, we'll have full hot water by the end of this weekend. And we'll hopefully, hopefully by next Friday, we'll know where we're staying since it's now less than two weeks. So, oh, thanks, Ellen. <laughs> it was fun shopping with the gals. That's for sure. <laughs> um, slightly readable. Wrote the address, Sharpie. Well, I am sure glad they're all making it. Who won the order giveaway? Scott, I haven't drawn for that yet. I have to do that with the back office numbers. So I do a little video on my phone. Thank goodness I have a phone now. Native Princess that's called Whispers of the Spirit Woods. Native Princess that's now called Whisper of the Spirit Woods. Hmm. Um, oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I, I did leave y'all last time with not a washer. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I told you there was more stories. So I left y'all last time that I was going up and down the steps with the old washer and it was on its last legs too. The one up here had gone out. I found a used one. So we went, we went looking that week. I told y'all that and we found one for $2,700 a set. And I, Jay Paul said, just get it, just get it from Costco with the warranty and all that. And uh, thank you, Jeannie. The answer since one had shipped to a friend's apartment. Yes, me too. Uh, Dak renamed the kit. Why on earth would Dak rename that kit? That's weird. Okay. Um, but you'll have to tell me that story, Cheryl, why they renamed it. So I had talked to my financial advisor that week, who's my brother. But anyway, <laughs> we did talk to him and I'm like, Jerry, I can't do it. I do not want to spend $2,700 on um, a washing machine. Again, thank goodness we didn't because the car went off and all the things. And we went online and I found that one of the machines I had, it was a Maytag set. It was two years old, two-year-old Maytag set. It does not have pedestals, but we have pedestals and Jerry's going to rig it up. He's going to Jerry rig it up so that it is both on a pedestal, but they're only two years old and we got them for $500. So we did have to, we did get new to me washing machine set up that Sunday before we left on a Wednesday. So we do have that. in. so that was another answered prayer and only $500 out. So that's good. Oh, I love you too, Tanya. Thank you for staying. Prayers for your family. Have a nice win, y'all. That's right. Thank y'all everyone. And uh, thank you for the well wishes. I will pay the kids tomorrow and get all these, um, the postage refunds out and try to get finished my phone setting up. The house is a disaster. <laughs> I've got to finish unpacking and then think about repacking for a week and a half away. Right? So we'll see you one time in between now and then wishing you all well. I know we all have stuff going on, right? Uh, so I will also, I need to write down the drawing. Uh, order drawing. I'll do the order drawing hopefully sometime this weekend and get that posted. Um, Helen, you go ahead and email me and Danielle send me an email too. Okay. And uh, I appreciate it. Thank you all for dropping in for the two and a half hours and giving me a little bit of your time and energy. Night, Rich. Night, everyone. I love you all. Remember to shine bright and don't let anyone dull your sparkle. Bye, y'all. Love you.